Welcome, everybody, to Mayhem on Mandrill, Act 4, Session Slash, Episode 2. We last left off with Malachi de Lumiere getting completely disintegrated in his dream, leaving his condition worsening. Uh, we are returning not on the same day, but the following day. Bloppletup has been given a quest, or rather a quest has fallen into his hands, and he has decided to take a path to pursue his own reality. Not as in like he's going to make his own reality, but he wants to be a real boy. It's like, uh, it's like uh, I almost said Peter Pan, but it's like Pinocchio. So, he's assembled a crew with the assistance of Orion Nightshade. And now we sit here the morning of Malachi in his tent, worsening Malik and Danuk tending to him. I'll pull Danuk over here. And things are not looking good. But, Floppletup, you have a scheduled leave time and specific instructions from Osnek. Are you ready to review your checklist? Sure. All right. It is 8 a.m. By 8.30, you need to have all eight of your members uh, set to go in the center, what we'll call the uh, the courtyard, which is just a big, dusty square area that's empty. Uh, and Osnek is going to time you guys so that when you leave, he's, he's not going to join you because he's got stuff to do. But he is uh, old and tired, and so he basically told you yesterday, uh, he's not going to walk with you. He's going to fly over there, but you guys can walk over there. He just needs to know at what point you're going to land. You need to be pretty precise in where you're going to the edge of the plateau. He'll fly over. He'll, he'll be there you know, in a few minutes, hopefully, with from when you guys get there. Uh, he'll cast Featherfall so that you guys can just drop right off the plateau and get to Tarshive. The only other thing is he's going to give you... Um, a little vestige. Uh, well, I guess you have you have this option. This is this is something that I'll leave up to you. We could just kind of steal Malachi's teleport amulet and give it to you, but that's a little dangerous, and Aznek doesn't really like that. Or he can give <laughs> you an item that he can focus to, and he'll just burn his teleports for the day so that you guys can make a quick, easy return trip. Uh huh. One saves spell slots. The other risks losing a, a valuable, valuable item. Let's not lose a valuable, valuable item. Malik agrees. Osnick will just burn <laughs> his stupid spell slots. So, your first task is to make sure all of your individuals are assembled in the courtyard. Uh, would you like me to run through the checklist of who you're taking? Remind you who is on this mission. Jeez. Yes, first is Cagliari, who I'm going to presume is already with you, if that's all well and good. Cagliari. I'm helping him with his saves. Okay, of course. Well, I mean, I, I, I know this, but I mean, are you <laughs> The good saves to, like... he's making constantly in the background. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I just mean, are you with him right now at 8.02 a.m.? Yeah, uh, okay. Is this like a day later than last session? It is the next day. After all oh. of the evening logistics have been cleaned up. Uh, probably not then. She's probably not punctual. All right. <laughs> not punctual. Noted. Writing, writing that down. Going back to the, the Jacob tent. All right. Who is punctual? I'll tell you who's punctual. Zeniel Choi. Captain Choi. Reporting to Bobbletup. Captain Genevieve Dalton. Rain. You're taking a lot of captains with you. Just, just you know, this is, this is a lot of star power here. You got some real heavy hitters. Uh, Iovita Tatius, Silver Dragonborn. She is definitely on time. So these are four of your eight. And who else do I have on my funny list that we need to check off here? Uh, oh, yes. The, the wild card of the evening. Nilbog. I take no responsibility. You invited him. So, what, whatever happens, you, you cannot you cannot blame me. That is all. I don't like Rain's color, even though it's completely irrelevant. I'm going to fix it. So, these five individuals are here. All that remains in terms of who to wrangle up is going to be uh, Cagliari and Parts, I, th I believe. Yeah, I believe everybody else is here. Unless I, unless I can't count. Nope, it's just Cagliari and Parts. All of your captains are here. Uh, I think Iovita is a master sergeant. Uh, and then Nilbog is um, uh, Nilbog. Reporting for duty. I forgot about him. You you did invite him. I did. You did. You did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, 
Uh, next on your checklist is you need to mark on your map where you are going. So, you, can you see my cursor? I don't know if it's visible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. You are here. And you are going a little bit further down. Let me make sure it's visible on stream. It is. You are going way down here. You can cut through the woods, which may be faster. And you want to go right here. Why do you want to go right here? Because right here is the plateau drop-off that leads literally dead into Tarshif, essentially. It's like a very short walk from there. This is like 20 miles. You have a lot of walking to do. So you got to keep a pretty serious pace to get there in a reasonable time. But then dropping off is easy. So cutting through the woods or going around, but you're going to have to go through the woods anyway. So Osnick just remains cut, cut, cut straight down. Straight yeah. down, due south. And you should pretty much get there. And as long as this mountain is on your left and this mountain is on your right and you're cutting between them, you pretty much it should be pretty much impossible to get lost. Got it? Yeah. All right, that's your drop-off point. Great. Okay, so that's been checked off. That should be most of your checklists. Uh, supplies, there isn't much food to go around, but Sage will equip you with a day's rations uh, and some water from the, the quote-unquote well that he's been dumping water into. So you guys should be good for the day, but you don't have anything past that. He can afford to give you a little bit more water, but no more than a day's worth of food. Got it? Okay. All right, you still can't cast bells, so... Yeah, Correct. You got that. You got that little <laughs> problem as well. Just making sure we're all on the same page. But that being said, I think your chest, uh, your checklist is done. All you need now is all of your members. I'll have parts show up. He's from Winifred, I believe. I'm definitely. We need to promote him to a sergeant. He's killed two dragons at this point, and if not master sergeant, and then we'll assume that Caliari makes her way around some, some at some point, if not fetched. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is your group. How do you feel, Bubbletop? Um, this seems fine to me. Nope. You need to roll Constitution. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, like, how do you feel? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what right, I are you able to roll for yeah. me? Because I I rolled Mega Fish Kill, and now my browser's frozen. <laughs> okay. I have a good. I have a proposal for you. Maybe you should stop rolling <laughs> Mega Fish Kill. I think maybe that's the reason. That wait, 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 I, I was able to open a new tab. Everything's fine. Oh, okay. He's got it now. All right. Yeah. Is it constitution? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I got a nine. Um, bones ache. Bones uh. ache bad. You feel tired. Did you add four to that? Oh, you can't. Uh, add four to that. Bones ache, but not too bad. <laughs> tired, but not too bad. I just heard one very loud dice roll sound. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you this, uh, with the way that you're feeling, it's going to be a very, very long day of walking. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to buckle up, uh, before you leave, just, just to remind you that he exists, uh, metal man walks by, says, hi, Blopple Tub. Oh, I had to think for a second who that was. <laughs> <laughs> Processing fax machine. How could you uh, forget where you, where you go? Tarshiv. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that is. Or what that is. Do you want to go to Tarshiv with us? Um, no. I just said I'm supposed to make sure nothing bad happens to Malachi when he's sleeping. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's good, too. Yeah. I hope he feels better soon. Are you doing a good job protecting him? I uh, uh, roll. Uh, uh, what what do I have you roll for that? Persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah, sure. Uh, natural twenty. Wow, that's the most important roll of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Meteor can't <laughs> smile, but uh, his countenance changes. He straightens his posture, and says, "Yeah, I will do a good job. Thank you. I protect." Okay, bye. Okay, bye, Meteor. This is important. You've made the robot happy. You've changed the fate of all of humanity. Because the robot <laughs> is happy. You don't, under, you don't understand what you've done. All right. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, get out of here. Start that was walking. a dustborn moment. Start walking.
I'm not actually going to animate you walking. I'm, I don't have a map for that. He hates us. I do hate you. Um, you can just imagine that Rusted Root is playing because uh, this this is going to take a while. Can you walk? Let's, let's do some math. If you want to set your pace, um, and if you want to like do this and make it an actual day trip, uh, you you got to walk like pretty briskly. We're talking like 3.5 miles per hour. And that's just to get there in uh in six hours. Well, now, if you know my walking speed is a uh, a quantifiable thirty five feet, whatever that means. It's like <laughs> that's like thirty five feet every six seconds, and that's for combat. I don't even I don't even want to do the math over that. Thirty five <laughs> feet every six seconds is five point eight three three feet per second. Feet per second to MPH. All right, let's do five point. Why did you give me that? Why don't you just give me a converter? All right, well times this times. Hey, wait. Um, I know they do. Um, oh, that's like four miles per is hour. It, is it not like um, technically travel speed is three miles two hours? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I hate the travel speed rules. I've looked at them before. They're I've found them to be obnoxious. I could walk faster. I walk really fast, so I'm I'm a bad use case for literally anything. Traveling in pace. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it just says four miles per hour, thirty miles per day, three miles per hour, twenty-four hours per day. I mean, you can just use three miles per hour as a general benchmark, but basically, Osnick said be there in six hours. If you're walking three miles per hour, you're gonna spend six and two thirds hours, like six hours forty minutes. So you need to be brisk, like very intentionally brisk, because it's better to get there early. Because if he's waiting or can't find y'all at the edge, it's just it's just gonna be annoying. So. Time for you to make another con save because you're gonna be walking for five hours, buddy. Wow. Mm-hmm. 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 Hope you're ready. I was uh, 16. Okay, that's better. You're pretty much the limiting factor here, so as long as as long as you can keep the pace, wow. I know parts isn't gonna listen. Yeah, his, gonna his, call me out like that. His bones are literally <laughs> melting. I mean, it's not. I actually, have a cold, all right. <laughs> you know, you know who's really gonna have a problem is no bug with those stubby little legs. Let me just roll for no bug with disadvantage real quick. And then he got a 12. Uh, yeah, he's definitely going to have trouble, and Rain is going to give up and just carry him like a purse or a satchel. Maybe she's touching it. <laughs> <laughs> going to have to. So no bug now uh, is probably just going to, you know, she'll pr he'll probably make like a knapsack or something just right on her back because he weighs like, there's no way he weighs more than 40 pounds like that little dude. <laughs> so, I really don't think it's a I don't think it's, it's a holding like a like a bag of chicken feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you make your way south. Um not too much is known about this. Uh you've been informed by those qualified parties about what to expect on the Cairo plateau. There is a chance that you can encounter some creatures. You shouldn't have to worry about displacer beasts or any of the nonsense you encountered in the Fey wild, but there are monkeys, which don't sound dangerous, but are not friendly. They're not giant. They're just, they, they can, you know, not, not be fun. Uh, some of the um, mountain lions of various types may be here, although you don't recall which one, or rather, let's say, the information you were given is not specific as to which one, but just be ready for mountain lions. It should be normal things your party is fully equipped to handle, in the wild, given that you've, again, literally killed dragons, uh, just, you know, don't slack off just because you're walking through the woods. You can still be attacked. So stay on guard. Uh, it is going to seriously cut down your travel time, and you need to be extremely careful when navigating in these woods because, yes, you have mountains as landmarks, but once you are under the canopy, it can be very easy to get lost, which means you want someone making survival checks at the front of you to make sure you're going due south. Do you have someone you would like to elect for that task? Is that for doing what? Survival checks. Uh, Parts isn't terrible at it. You're actually better at it. You actually have a plus four, which is kind of funny. Just because you're such a... If only there was a guy who was good at it. Boy. If only... If only he was here. Too bad he's playing farm merge. He is playing farm merge. <laughs> In the archives, in another dimension. Are you going to be the survivor? What, what if I try it? You might be. Uh, you have advantage uh, on, hmm. I guess, saves, not checks, right? 
or plus four on saves rather. Fourteen. Yeah, it saves. Fourteen is not terrible. Fourteen is workable. Uh, with a fourteen, it's a little tough when you're in the dense sections of canopy to make sure you're going due south. Every now and again, you try to look up where the sun is uh, coming through the canopy and the leaves and the trees, but it gets scattered too much. It's actually quite dark in sections. You just pay very close attention to any opening you can see, and you are able to keep track of your first mountain on your left, making sure that you're staying just to the right of its base as you make your way down. Uh, at about probably the three-hour mark, you're doing okay. You haven't encountered much. It's not common for elves to be about in the wilderness section. You did cross the main Alvin Road earlier, but nothing of note. What you may encounter are uh, wood elves, and uh, that is also a real possibility, so stay on guard because there's not much information about where their encampments are. So, as you continue south, uh, you make your way down, approaching the second mountain. I'm going to need another survival check again for party Boop. leader. Bloop. 21. 21, okay, much better. This mountain is much larger and much easier to see, and with a feel for the flow of these woods, you can pretty easily keep yourself on track due south. What's also notable is another much larger mountain is also in view further to your left. Uh, and splitting the difference between those two should reliably get you there. However, you are noticing evidence that you are not alone in these woods. There are, in fact, signs that other intelligent creatures have been here. Markings on trees, some ropes, and now you're starting to become um, very leery that there may be traps nearby. You haven't seen any traps yet, but based on some old ropes hanging from trees and some other carvings, as well as some clearly matted down sections of terrain and soil, trampled dirt and grass, you might be approaching an, a, a civilization, shall we say. Oh. What would you like to do? Is is any of this thieves camp or um, Sylvan or anything? No, the or mark, the I, either are, of those. Because yeah, that's no, what I can yeah, read. Yeah. The markings are not writing, but they just appear to literally be like cuts into the trees, sections of bark taken off of trees. Some trees have been felled. Okay. Continue uh, south. Uh, yeah. All right. Continue south. Big boys, we got this. You are, you are big boys. We'll just, we'll just see, uh, see what happens. Continuing south, it's not too long before you stumble upon your first wood elf. Uh, they're somewhat small, maybe like five foot four. Is a male with a, a very sharp face, uh, and darker skin than the high elves you've seen, but you know, not dark, dark. Um, leaf, leafy clothing, uh, a bow on his back, uh, and he just kind of looks at you. Like, well, you know what you look like. <laughs> so he just kind of looks at you like, what the, what? He doesn't draw his bow, but uh, he just sort of An stands. An unhuman traveling yeah, with a corpse. Yeah, yeah. He stands there going, what? Looking you up and down. I'll, I'll wave. You wave. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think. I, I guess there's not a role for that. Um. <laughs> he he says something to you in Elvish. Do any of you who who even speaks Elvish here? Not me. Anybody? I hope it's one of the NPCs. You don't speak <laughs> Elvish either. Oh, that's right. I, I speak Elvish. Sylvan, which was enough to get by. That was a whole thing, huh? Uh, okay. Well, this is going to be funny. Um, the Wood Elf says something to you in Elvish. Uh. And uh, your NPCs, uh, Zaniel, Genevieve, and Ayalvita, kind of look around like, why is anybody know this? Nilbog hasn't said anything. Uh, he's just currently on the back of Rain, who is looking at Blappletop and the others like, she doesn't know what's going on. Genevieve says, I'm pretty sure he asked us who we are. Do you speak Elvish? A uh, little bit. <laughs> well, you're the translator. Oh no. <laughs> um what, what what do I tell him? I don't um, know. Hmm. Um I mean what uh hmm. I don't know. 
Well, you're currently just standing about 15 <laughs> feet away from each other. He can tell that you guys, he, he understands the problem that you're going through. And when he sighs, he says, uh, Who are you? Oh, good. That, that was a not Elvis? Oh, yeah, that was common. uncommon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're, um... Adventurers. <laughs> Adventurers not allowed on plateau. We ha- we have we have land. We have um we were given like a a place. Huh? You they, have you have land here? Yeah, it was like given to us by like in wood. He points to the to the ground beneath your feet. No, like wait, like north. What? Roll persuasion. With disadvantage. <laughs> Luckily, I'm pretty good at persuasion. Uh, there's a nat one for a nine. <laughs> mm, yeah, he just looks at you like, no, no, no elves on plateau. Why here? Why are wood? We're do you want to answer? Are you the are you the like ranking guy here? Are we are we supposed to? I'm talking to Blopple Top. Are you um, are you supposed to answer? What am I? Am I'm not like stepping on any toes by saying stuff, right? I, I don't know. They don't tell me anything. Um, we're just kept, we're going south. We're going to Tarshiv. We're just trying. We're just trying to. We're getting through. We're just Outwood off limit. Get out. What if it's for medical reasons? What? <laughs> like like I'm sick. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. He's picking up what you're putting. He's a little confused, but he's like, okay, okay. Healer? Uh, we have healers. They weren't enough to do what we needed to do. So we're trying to we're trying to go get no some, healer like, real... here. No healer here. Go away. There's a healer. We're trying to get. We just got it. We gotta pass through. Can we pass through? He doesn't know what those. He, he's, he's confused. I'm he's, doing. He's, I'm doing. He's, um, he's I'm, trying to keep up. In real life, I'm kind of doing like a <laughs> like hand a, motions. I got my hand in like a choppy, like okay, a like a right. chop pose, but I'm oh, pushing okay. it forward. All right. No. <laughs> like, okay. All right. Okay. All right. He's picking up. He's really picking like up. pointing south. He's going through. <laughs> he he points like behind him. Walking walking person on my hand towards south. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. He's picking up. He he points behind him. He's like, Arshiv. Yeah. Yeah. No healer, Tarshiv. Special healers. Yeah. <laughs> Cliff. Um, yeah. You Cliff, he makes a climbing motion. Um. How did the other guy say we're going to get down? I was next to just going to fly over and feather fall you guys over the cliff once you get to the landing point. <laughs> okay, so I, I do a little, like, Two finger leg man on my hand, and then gently float him off my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, how do how do you roll roll persuasion? I guess that's the best thing for that, <laughs> or performance. I don't think it matters. Uh, I got a uh, twelve. All right. All right, float, and then he may, he does he gestures with the little fingers floating down. Yeah. Uh huh. You float. We will. Huh. Okay. I hunt. Magic. <laughs> not not us. No. <laughs> Deer. <laughs> Have Sick. fun float, Tarshiv. Later. Hi. All right, he moves on. All right, fun pits up. <laughs> All right, uh, Genevieve says, "I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. That I, I haven't done it since college. I just really did. No, it's, really it's, okay, it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, okay, it's okay. You went to college? Yes." Then I was forced into service. 
Oh. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's fine. All right, yeah. I mean, do you want to talk about it? Sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, we got a long walk, and, uh, you know, the first half of this walk was pretty much just silence. Well, I didn't want to be the first one to talk. I mean, someone's got to be. All right, well, I joined the army. Well, I joined Zara. Hold up, let me, let me fact check myself. Let me make sure I'm not talking on my butt. I'm like 99% sure that's who she was. Yeah, okay, I was right. She can't remember her own backstory? No, I can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> I what... Think, I think shut, she might be shut a up, traitor. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I remember her backstory. Spy. I just didn't remember what noble house she was with. Uh, I actually did. I just had to check just because I second-guessed myself. She goes, I did. I did go to college. In Lucine proper, actually. I wanted to be a magician as well, but didn't quite have the skills, but at least I studied finance. And then I was told that it was required that in order to pay my family's debts, I would have to serve in some other way. So I was forced into the Zara Guard. Not something that Lady Golomuf would have preferred, but a mandate that was handed down to us. I was never happy serving Xerxes. I only did it to protect my family from having their house taken away from them. But if they ever find out that I joined this, it's over. I served my time. I paid off their debts. But I don't think I can... I don't think I can ever see them again. If I'm found and not just missing in action, I'll be fully marked a deserter. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I, I, I'm dead. I can never see In there, again. sister. Yeah. I was going to ask about that. I, was, I keep forgetting that Kyrie is literally just like a Frankenstein's monster looking yeah, corpse yeah, next to us. Is. It's not great. <laughs> she's, she's mostly alive. It's mm. not like she's literally a walking corpse. Yeah, well, she has like stitch marks. Yeah, yeah. this is true. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Ayovita, the silver dragonborn, then speaks up and says, At least you had family. Never found mine. It's complicated as a dragonborn. Well, apparently I was born out of the thoughts of fish people, so... Hmm. Hmm. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's joy. That. <laughs> <laughs> so how exactly are we going to fix that? I don't know. Something down here, Tarshiv. You don't even know what it is? Potentially a genie. Genie? Yeah. You mean like a, a djinn. A djinn. Aren't they demons? Are they? <laughs> Roll history. <laughs> Seven. Are they? <laughs> I mean, I was I, <laughs> both me and Cagliari. <laughs> huh? You yeah, 13, does Blob Club know? Uh, no. He doesn't know, or that's a no? No, he doesn't know. Uh, he's not even going to bring it up then. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to rag his brain, and it just comes up empty. No file found. <laughs> I wish we still had the monster manual. That thing was useful. <laughs> I had one of those at one point. Although I'm fairly certain jinn are elemental, not demonic. I mean, I do know that we gotta, like, be careful what we wish for. They're one of those, right? They're kind of a, a monkey's paw thing. I don't monkey's know. Monkey's paw? I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, what, what's that? Oh, it's like, it, you'll, you'll wish, like, um... Like, let's let's say we wished that Xerxes was dead. We might get time traveled into the future where he dies of old age. Like, it, it, it will fulfill our wish, but in a way that's, like, bad. Oh. It's an old folktale thing. Hmm. Never heard of it. Yeah, apparently it was like a monkey's paw that could grant wishes, but it would always do that to you. I've never it heard would, of the djinn granting wishes either. 
How confident are you that this is real? Orion gave you this source, yes? Uh, uh, it was Osnek. Osnek? Oh. Back in like... Like, months ago? Strange. I think it was probably only a few weeks, but yeah. Well, yeah, I sure. Su suppose we'll <laughs> find out. Uh, who exactly is our contact, anyways? Wapletop, you should probably check uh, the info sheet Orion gave you to see who your contact in the city is. Uh, who's my contact in the city? Uh, let me look at this info sheet. Uh, your contact is Tucat. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Tucat. Uh, uh, according my, to a short it description. It says my contact is Tucat. Strange name. Yeah. Don't know how they do it down there. Uh, Tucat, according to his rap sheet, is a caravan runner, a... Um, Participant in a harem and a little bit of a wild man. In it says he's a weirdo. Yeah, <laughs> he sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> it says you can find him in Oasis, whatever that means. Most of the time. Huh. Wait, we have a dragonborn in the party, right? Oh yeah, silver. What, dragonborn. what kind? Silver. Okay, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> she will get a lot of attention. Lot I know attention. three facts about Tarshiv. And that's one of them. <laughs> All right. Any other topics you want to discuss on your fun little walk through the woods? Um. No. So what do all you like? Nap. Like, do like? What are you guys good at? Uh, primarily an archer. I'm a melee specialist. I am not super skilled in combat, but I have a silver tongue. I have a good Ooh. relationship with Baroness Gullamuth. I just okay. uh, smash stuff. Who said each of those things? That last one was Rain, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Iovita is this. Genevieve is this. Uh, so Genevieve, uh, <laughs> uh, listen, I'm doing my best here. I, mean, I to understand. I, look, women. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, Iovita is a, a melee specialist. Uh, gotcha. Choi is an archer. Uh, I uh, Genevieve is. She was just. A, she was basically forced into the military. She's not great at combat, but she's smart. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And Nilbog is taking a nap. Corporal Parts strongest warrior. Yeah. Oh, okay. he's just get. Oh, yeah. Now's a good time for Parts to speak up. Well, uh. I've killed two dragons, so um, guess that's my specialty now. Fascinating. Yeah. All by yourself? No. Uh, one of them though, I did uh, throw a javelin at it, and uh, that killed it, like real dead, fell from the sky. And um, the other one I just helped, but you know, I, I did do um. There was this uh, thing where there was this, like a uh, it was like spitting acid all over the place, and I uh, pulled out this playing card, and it made it not do that, and uh, that was pretty sick. Basically, saved a woman's life by doing that. So, pretty much, uh, yeah. Do you have your magic? No, no, no. It was just an item. I just used oh. it at a good time. I mean, I okay. kind of knew how it worked. And it did what I wanted, so you know. And I just stabbed it a bunch. So yeah. Well, there's some like giant bug in my room funking against the wall. I'm gonna figure out what it is. <laughs> I thought that was Blopple's head. I was like, giant the inside bug. of oh. the inside <laughs> of Blopple's head. Where, where? <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> it's the ancient. It's the agents I sent. Not the federal agents, assuming giant bug form. That's right. I am the Fed. Imagine the federal agents came to your house, but they were just bugs on your wall. That's pretty good. It's pretty good to see. You mean imagine? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well, I gotta advance the clock here. Extremely boring day of walking complete. Mission complete. Uh, we're gonna say you got there at two thirty. A little bit. No, not two thirty a.m. Ew, that's gross. Fourteen thirty. Two thirty p.m. Pretty much a full day of walking. Uh, a little bit shorter. 
You guys are tired. You've made it out of the woods. You somehow avoided having pretty much all contact with wood elves except that one hunter, which was pretty convenient. And now you find yourselves at the edge of the plateau. Uh, you can see it in the distance as the clearing in the woods finally opens up. Do you step out to the edge of the plateau to observe your first view of the city of Tarshif? It's a rhetorical question. You step out of the... Wait, well... John, is, John isn't even here, I just realized, so I was kind of waiting for him to answer as well, because, you know, he's party leader. I, I also was waiting for him to answer? Yeah, I, did, I didn't think about it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pretend you guys are here now at this point. Uh, I don't have a map for this. I do have... Well, I do have a map map, but I actually don't want to reveal that yet because I want you guys to buy it in a shop or something. Wink, wink, because I don't want to just show it to you. But I can describe it to you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Looking over the plateau, you do, in fact, see the grand city of Tarshiv. It's actually quite small. All right, I'm back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, you're at the edge of the plateau. Bug. Okay, stink bugs, yeah. Uh, you're at the edge of the plateau looking over Tarshiv for the first time. Roll perception. Uh, oh God, I've been staring into my lamp and everything looks weird. Classic. I uh, got 23. 23, that's pretty dang good. You're going to see flipping everything. I have a plus 8 to perception. You have a plus 8 to perception. Wisdom. Oh, and you specialize in... Look at you. Oh, that's kind of useful. You see everything. It's not a massive city... But it is quite impressive. The most prominent thing you see are the golden domes scattered across the city. Uh, you can't quite see everything as part of the city is obstructed by a mountain view. There's actually a narrow channel at the bottom of the city, which appears to be farmland and cattle grazing land, which slowly increases into more and more urban areas. In the center of the city, there is a massive golden fountain, spring, something that just draws your eyes immediately. And just partially hidden by a mountain obstructed is what appears to be the largest gold dome um, in the entire city. There are smaller gold domes scattered throughout the houses and one tower, it seems, at the end of a wall that sort of staircases down to the front gate. At one point, the wall is, it must be a hundred feet tall, but it slopes down to seemingly 60, then 40, then a mere 20 at the front gate, or something humble. Uh, like little ants traveling around the city, you can see caravans pouring in, you can see people in a massive, massive bazaar behind the Great Spring, quite the commotion in the city. And there is, in fact, some evidence of an oasis. There are palm trees and small lakes scattered throughout segments of the city near the back by the Great Wall. <coughs> Bless you. And a massive building that, bless you, you can't quite see, but it's the largest <laughs> building in the city. It looks impressive, but much like the other building with the giant gold dome, some of it is cut off from your view due to the mountain in front of you. You will certainly be able to get a better look once you descend. It seems pretty clear that this is the meeting point that Osnek was talking about. Now, it's just a question of when he's going to show up. He said he should waiting be there around the old 3 p.m. Man. You're waiting for the old man. Waiting for half an hour. <laughs> till 3 p.m. So you're, you're actually ahead of schedule. So you're doing good. I'll use my um, disguise kit to kind of hide some of my more corpsey aspects. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's fair. You can go ahead and do that. Ayurveda is going to say, I know it's a bit late to bring this up. I'm sure you've thought of it as well, General, but... I am going to draw attention. In a good way or bad way? Well, it depends on how much attention you want. It's not... They won't have a problem with me, but... Quite the opposite. I have... I have written down... In my, in my ratty journal here... Uh, that they quote, dislike non-metallic dragonborn, but I don't quite know the extent of what that means. Is it going to be a situation where, like, they're going to assume we're your slaves or something? Like, is it is it that no, big a deal? No, it's Well, it's non-metallic. Silver, as you can see. The issue is that many years ago, there was a cult of black dragon worshippers that took over the city and, well, 
I wouldn't be surprised if some of them still inhabit it today, but they've been driven underground if they're still present. The stigma against the black dragon remains massive, but it's fair. Black dragons have been a scourge on Mandrill for hundreds of years, as I'm sure many of you know, and it's gotten worse in recent years with the sightings of, well, one that I believe we may have been implicated in, but I am not one to spread gossip. Essentially, um, black dragons have a legacy in the city. Some revere them, but most despise and shun them. Any dragonborn that is non-metallic will be executed if seen within the city walls. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yes. They take the remnants of the cult very, very seriously. The temple has since been dedicated to Bahamut, but there was a time where it was a pillar to the witch triplets and their older brother Milcom. Mm. Huh? None of you are students of history. I know what you're talking about, says Dalton. <laughs> it's the same voice. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think I'm women, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I've been there, brother. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make Ivy to British, but yeah, it's getting it's getting lost. I can do one. J juggling two is kind of tough. Ayovita says, do none of you know your dragon history? Surely you've all heard of no. Durango. Sounds familiar. Oh. Mm. Yes. Perhaps another time. I'm sure... Well... No. Let's just wait for the wizard to come fetch us. Okay, but uh, like back to like, so they're gonna. Are you are are we gonna be kind of like constantly stopped on the street because people are gonna like want to give you stuff or something? Like what's? Oh, that's entirely possible. Oh, they may also want to. Well, she, you know. She, what does she do, Trevor? <laughs> she's making she's making making a face. She's raising her eyebrows, like you know. <laughs> you, you, you know what they want to do. Nice. <laughs> Not quite. <clears throat> Don't believe I want any attention from humans. No offense. Who, who would... Oh. I mean... Do we even... I, parts, I guess? Other hum... Yeah, I was gonna say, there do we have a human? <laughs> Dalton. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Parks is an orc. Choi is a tiefling. Nilbog is a sleeping goblin. Rain is a Rain is a lion. There is one human in your party. <laughs> one human woman. So that was, that was pretty much just to, to clear that there. <laughs> All right. Well, we're waiting for Osnick. Anything else you want to discuss or ask your NPCs? No. All right. Well, we sit <laughs> you, in awkward silence. Oh, wait. No. I mean, do you, do you, are you that opposed to going into the city? Would you not want to go? Who, me? Yeah. No, I don't mind per se. I'm here to get the job done. I just don't want to be, I don't want to be a burden. I mean, for all I know, maybe I can raise us, well, I don't know how moral that is, but I could probably raise us a, a good chunk of change while we're passing through. I don't have a problem with it. Well, then um, see what they give us. But I'm not going. I mean, I'm also not you. Blapple Tub, do you have a problem with that? Oh, uh, with what? He's her, up. her raising money through her being a dragonborn. As long as you don't get like kidnapped. Well, just make sure you keep an eye on me. Let's not separate once we get within the walls. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of plan, the goofiest sight emerges on the horizon above the treetops. <laughs> it's Osnek, flying at 
60 feet per second or something similar. Uh, and That's finally, fast. It, it is pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, takes over, he lands. I actually have to look, not big guys, Nick. Anything but big guys. Nick. He got huge. <laughs> I forget what it is. It should be like 120 feet every six seconds. So maybe it's like 20 feet per second. I don't know. But he flies over. He floats down. He says, ah. Oh, Glad to see you all made it safely. Oh, Oof, even flying is difficult at this age. How was your journey? Boring. Yeah. We, we met an elf. Oh, any trouble? <laughs> no. Uh, There's a bit of a language barrier. Ah, yes. Well, are you ready to make your descent? Oh, boy, am I. All right. This Wait, what be... language do they speak in Tarshiv? Oh, common. Okay. Although they may have an accent. Allegedly, uh, there was a blessing instilled by the gods many, many moons ago that all of these different peoples would be gifted a common tongue and so on and so forth. But that doesn't stop it from sounding unusual. And they have many uh, colorful expressions, so I have heard. Quite colorful. Anyways... Language barrier should not be a problem, with the exception of maybe some written text. But I'm sure you all have ways around that, yes? You can't cast spells. Um, it'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you'll manage. All right. Well, five at a time. We can do one, two, three. Oh, I almost didn't see the little one. Is he sleeping? He points to... Yeah, he's been uh, aw awfully quiet the whole way here. Oh, well... Poor fellow must be tired or under a spell. Hmm. Let me just make sure that... Um, hmm. And he looks at him. Yes, yes, all good. All in order. <clears throat> all right. Um, he's actually been dead for the last 30 <laughs> minutes. Oh, is, no. he's not going to melt because we took him out of the Feywild, is he? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I technically can't answer <laughs> no to that without like a roll, but no, that would be mean. <laughs> that would be really mean. All right. So, all right, Osnick says, all right, well, um, I suppose I'll cast it on the little one just in case. Um, he may wake up and start screaming. Uh, in fact, you may want to wake him up now because um, it's probably preferable to him waking up mid-descent. That would be really funny. Okay. Uh, well, well. <laughs> no. No, no, let's wake him up, let's wake him up. <laughs> all right, all right. Rain takes him off, and uh, as he's getting pinned up, he goes, ah, <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. Don't take, don't take me to the ground. I am sound. Around. What's happening? His head blows up. <laughs> <laughs> His head reforms. Oh, we're about Not to horrifying. jump off that. Oh, yeah. If everybody wasn't aware of that, this little guy's head explodes when he doesn't rhyme. It's true. But at least I'm not as ugly as you. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right, that was just unnecessary, but, I mean, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Anyways, we're about to jump off a cliff, little man. He could have said, like, pretty. Like, it's a shame I'm not as pretty as you. Like, he could have, he didn't have to make it an insult. I, I couldn't think that quickly. Uh-oh, his head blows up. <laughs> <laughs> his head reforms. All right, well, I've had enough of this. Okay, um, Featherfall. He casts a spell. Uh, what, what does Featherfall even look like? I don't even look up if there's verbal somatic components. Featherfall. There's probably some verbal something. He speaks some liberal glib garbage. Uh, he makes a gesture with his hands. Uh, he pulls out a small feather and goes, one, two, three, four, five, bing. And he goes, one, two, three, bing. All right, well, this only lasts a minute. So go, go now, or you will fall to your deaths. Go, go, go. All right, it's time to jump. Pushes off like lemmings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jump off the cliff. All right, you ready? You making the jump? We Excellent. All right. You now fall at a rate of 60 feet per round. So that uh, that is 10 rounds of 60 feet. So you're falling 600 feet, which is enough to get you to the bottom with not, not a whole lot to spare, actually. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you really, you really got to go. Uh, okay. You begin floating your way down gracefully, uh, and at first, uh, it truly is it truly is something, probably a very weird feeling. Uh, no acceleration, just a constant dainty fall as the surroundings of Tarshiv slowly come into view. 
uh, it doesn't exactly look like you're going to be dropping into the city. You're going to be dropping into farmland. And the closer you get to the ground, the closer it looks like you're going to be dropping into cattle. Uh, it seems like they have some kind of uh, oxen here grazing on pastures by some very complex irrigation system nestled in between these two mountain peaks. It also may be possible that when it rains, there's some sort of natural river that flows here. Things come more clearly into view. And uh, as you descend, uh, you seem to get the feeling that the effects of the spell are waning. And, uh, well, this is where it gets interesting. It's, uh, you still got like 100 feet to go. <laughs> <laughs> got six more seconds of falling. All right. You may drop like 30 feet on the ground. Uh huh. You didn't do anything about that? Mr. 20, what 20, is Bob going to do about what, that? What do we do? What do we have to do? I mean, you know, you could like help prevent panic or like tell people to brace themselves or something. I don't know. I'm just like shooting out ideas here, you know, but you know, that's why you can just let people like fall down. I, don't know, I go, oh, we fallen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we fallen. I need everybody to make dexterity saving throws. And I need to roll a lot of dice. Well, no bug. I got a 30. Can I help somebody? No <laughs> bug they need in it? rain or nothing. Trevor, it wasn't good. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're good. Ooh, Dalton's good. Uh, these these guys, these guys know how to land. Rain and no bug are not doing good. All right, let's see parts. Let's see parts. Okay, parts are not doing good. All right, who got who got less than a 10? Me. Kelly, right, you got a 30, right? Yeah. All right, just, no bug got a 1. Um <laughs> No bug's gonna like. Yo, me and no bug breaking our necks for yeah. real. <laughs> no, bug, no bug gonna splatter on Wait, God for much, real, for real. How much did Bubble Top get? Five. Yeah, it's not oh, good. It's oh, real, even with the plus four. Okay. Real bad. Okay. <laughs> the good news is the feather fall got you ninety five percent of the way there. The last five percent just might hurt a bit. For those of you who failed, you take five bludgeoning damage as you smack into the ground. <laughs> Uh, no bug makes a sound as he lands. Uh, he has like two hit points left. His head is buried into sand. Uh, rain lands and just goes, ooh, uh, and parts lands and doesn't make a sound. I don't know what sound you make, but it's probably like a lead pipe falling. Cue the lead pipe sound effect, even though I have the soundboard muted. Yeah, my heavy plate arbor. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. Uh, the others managed to stick the landing. Calary's got weird legs. Iovita, Choi, Dalton, they're good. Rude. Um, weird legs. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, we the weird leg helper in this case. Uh, Dalton rushes over and goes, General, are you all right? Uh, she tries to help you up and pull you out of the sand. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. She rolled a three on the strength check. Um, uh, <laughs> if somebody parts goes, he moves over, he yanks you up. Ah, thank you. Mm. I've had worse like landings. There's like a dent in my armor. Yeah. <laughs> no bug is like paced on the ground. Rain picks him up as he starts to heal. No bug goes, let's never do that again. My head is spinning, spinning, spent. That one sucked. <laughs> He's trying to keep his head from exploding. Let the man live. <laughs> he thinks it what, rhymed. What entity judges this rhyming? Uh, he does. That's been discussed. If he thinks it rhymes, he doesn't blow up. What does my mace have in the description that says properties sap? What does that mean? I don't know what that means, John. Is it D&D 2024 under, stuff? It's not under customize, so it's not something I put in there. What does it say? It says sap. Simple sap. I think that's 2024 thing. It is, because it's D&D Free yeah, Rolls 2024. Weapon yeah. Mastery. That's funny. Yeah, that's so that's a weapon mastery. Just ignore it. Just use Mega Fish Kill. It's fine. <laughs> I was about to roll it, but it's still set to 720 D10s. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that, but yeah, okay. All right. It was, it was at like 10 before. There we go. Okay. You uh, all find yourselves uh, in a field. Uh, and uh, as you look closer, this is, these, are not, these are not cattle. These are dromedaries. And, uh, what is that? It's like a camel, but weird. It's basically a camel. 
There you go. Now I, I finally get to use the images chat that I made for images. It's a dromedary. Wow. And they're just kind of like camel. They're just kind of staring <laughs> at you, chewing. It's basically a camel. It's a camel with extra steps. They're just staring at you, chewing. Um, somebody is running up to you, uh, and it appears to be a farmer who just witnessed you slow fall off the cliff and then not so gracefully land. Uh, and he walks up and just says, "What did? Where did you come from?" <laughs> Who are you? Up. Uh, what are you doing here? You are disturbing my cattle. Sorry, uh, bud. I mean, we fell. Sorry about that. Why did you fall? Are you trying to kill yourselves? You did not succeed. Well, no, we wanted to get down here. Why didn't you just walk like normal people? Down the uh, cliff? You are I mean, not I normal could've... people. You are very strange people. Who oh, is that dragonborn? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, well. Speak on. Oh, are you brave adventurers? Are you here to... Are you going to the temple? Can I are we? service you in any way? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Unless he actually means that. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking the group. <laughs> um. <laughs> Did... No, never mind. So you just drop on food? Food? Uh, yeah. I could sell you a drama, Daddy. They are not the best food. One of those? He, he points at the creature. Yes, but they are more for... Um, the transportation. I do have cattle. How much? A few. Sorry. I mean, how much for a cattle? Oh. Well, for uh, one in the company of one from the gods, I could give you a bargain. 20 gold. 20 gold? They're good cattle. Livestock are expensive, man. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. I have strong D &D, arms. How much does a cow cost? Good, what are you, what I mean, are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to look up? <laughs> He's commuting with the cows. <laughs> D &D. Ow. One square yard of silk or one cow is ten gold pieces. I mean, this guy's <laughs> the economy is in shambles. Hey, whoa, whoa! That's <laughs> a, a cow in real life is thousands of dollars. I think it's hundreds. No, I could go down to fifteen gold for a cattle. Finest cattle, good for sacrifice. <sighs> That's too much to me to hold on. Now we're fine. Thank you, though. Oh, very good. Please do not disturb my dromedaries. But welcome to Tarsif. Thank you. Very strange. Very strange people. They are all very strange. Not even know. Those are expensive. This is strange. They're good cattle. <laughs> all right. Time for you guys to. Well, I mean, I guess I can just keep you here. I don't actually have a map. I mean, I do have a map. I don't have a map you can walk on. So, uh, sucks to suck. Okay. The good news is there's only one path forward. There's one main road, the side of which are irrigation channels, but one main road leading into the city. And in front of you, it's theoretically going to lead you to the Great Fountain, the spring or whatever it was that you saw bubbled up at the center of the town. And from there, you should be able to determine where to go and what to do. Remember, your contact should be in Oasis. Got it? Yeah. Cool. All right. You begin... You just know what that means, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You begin walking forward. You know what I need? I need a little bit of good Michael Gelfi ambience. Give me some like, give me some like market ambience. Ooh, what about like desert market ambience? You get, you got that Michael Gelfi? Bazaar? Yeah, yeah. That's really oh. loud. Oh. Right, that's better. All right, we're also gonna hold off on that until we get deeper in the city. As you begin walking through the city, uh, 
things become slowly more urban. You pass your first set of houses. Uh, people are looking at you uh, just because, like, again, none of you are human. It's very strange. Uh, a strange composition indeed. But One of us is human. One of you. But when <laughs> some people see a silver dragonborn, they start whispering, and many of them begin following you along the path. Uh, by the time you make your way mostly down the path, and by the time the fountain is in view, there's a crowd of about 30 people following you, talking and whispering. Avita goes up to you and says, Well, I did tell you this would happen. Is there anything you'd like me to do about it, or simply carry on? I mean, is it normal for, like... There to be out of towners like if are we going to do something that makes them suspicious and they're going to turn on us unlikely just don't um violate their social norms i hope you know those i do i okay will i suppose i should brief you although it's unlikely you'll break any of them um don't eat food outside of designated areas um None of us have livestock with us. There are only certain places where livestock can be brought. And, oh, it's a good uh, thing we didn't buy that cow! <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, those are probably, realistically, the only ones we should run into, honestly. Oh, don't haggle. Okay. That's it. Alright. Let me just, uh, oh, I gotta check something real quick. Gotta make a little. Gotta make a little roll real quick. Okay. It is time. You approach the central central square. You are now at a massive spring, perhaps forty feet in diameter. A massive pool of water. A wellspring of sparkling golden water. Uh, well, it's really golden from the sun, but it's it's pure, clear water. Uh, and surrounding it is a uh, a molding, a gold crowning, we'll say, around the top rim, and then a gold base underneath the edges of the fountain. You cannot see to the bottom, but from the center is a massive spring, a tower of water spewing out perhaps 20 or even 30 feet tall. Uh, it is a luxurious central square where many people are around, and now many, many eyes are on your party, and particularly on your dragonborn. Crowds are gathering around you. Many, many crowds. That's too many crowds. People are uh, talking, okay, people are whispering, they're saying, Oh, the dragonborn! Why is there a dragonborn here? She come for a god. Do you think she would be interested in me? <laughs> oh no. I want her to step on me. <laughs> Nobody says that. Silence that man. What are you gonna do? Um Ignore them. All right. Where are you going to go? There are two um, paths around the Great Spring. There's one leading to your right and one leading to your left. It appears now that you're in the town, taking a look around, to your left is the what you presume to be the temple. It's the building with the giant golden dome that you saw earlier. It curves upwards and then into a spike and spire. And then further back is a massive building built into the wall with a giant golden, for lack of a better word, you know the top of the Pizza Hut roofs? Not the bottom part, but the top <laughs> part. Really, yeah. really sharp like that. goes in. It's like a trapezoid. It, almost, it looks like a giant gold brick. Really, really tall with a gold coating on that entire roof. Uh, massive building. Uh, in front of you, it looks like there is actually another path straight ahead that leads to a segment of the bazaar. It looks like going to your right could lead you to the main section of the bazaar. Where are you going? Our main goal is the temple, right? Uh, yes, would that be the temple? Um, presumably it should be, yes. Laptop's gonna step out a little bit. Can somebody tell me where the temple is? Uh, like 20 people just point that way. <laughs> the giant right, temple. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, you make <laughs> your way down sure. the you make your way down the crowded paths. As you walk through, a sea of people clear the way for you. Ayavita steps up a little bit further towards you. Uh, some of them bow as you pass around them and say, A blessing from the gods that a silver dragonborn would visit us at this time. Oh yes, yes praise be, yes, praise be praise Lord Muhammad, something, something. Um all right, as you continue onward, uh, it's not too long before you see a path leading to your left. This appears to be some other governmental administrative building. Two smaller gold domes, which you actually recognize from seeing the cliff above, but it doesn't lead to the giant temple. It looks like it does, but it's a dead end. You're actually probably going to have to carry on further south and then take a left to get to the temple. All good? Yeah. All right. The sea of people uh, continue to part. Um, and suddenly, uh, you find yourself in, uh, well, quite, not, not suddenly, but let's say gradually, you find yourself in less luxurious parts of the city, away from the Great Spring, to collections of dirt hovels. Uh, it's very strange. There are some sections of the city in view that have lavish buildings to your right, to the left are slums, and ahead of you is an actual oasis. Um, approaching the curved road to the left is the road to the temple, which is quite a ways away still. And an equal distance now is that massive building with a gold brick roof straight ahead in what appears to be a fine desert oasis. As opposed to the terrain being a dark tan, sandy, and dusty, the sand here is pure white. Palm trees speckle in front of the large building, and there are, as I said, ponds of natural spring water around um there are also a lot of scantily clad women Woo! let's go hang out at the oasis um, for two cat right i would prefer not to go there well, that's where our contact is or it could be if you require me to enter i will <laughs> well, we you could like hang um, out back here. If some of us, and we split up. Yeah, we'd, well, we'd have I to didn't split recommend up. it, but perhaps some of us can go to the temple. I should be relatively um, safe there, I presume. I do not want to go into that wretched building. Sounds play. Sounds like a plan. So, who can come with me to the temple then? Um, Cagliari, um... Okay. I'm going to Oasis. <laughs> I mean, um, I, if our contact's there, then... Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll, um... I'll go to the temple. I am a religious man. I like the temple plan. You're a religious man? I guess. W wherever you need me, General. I mean, we don't need too many people to go find this guy, so you can go to the temple if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he goes to the temple. He he was keeping a straight face, but he really wanted to go into a way. So we can temple. split evenly just in case you run into some trouble. No, no, he'll go to the temple. It's okay. He, he's fine. <laughs> he's gonna go to the temple. It's okay. No problem. All right. Uh. Now it gets fun. <laughs> Temple group or Oasis group? Who's up? Uh -huh. Me. <laughs> You're not here. Hey, Nick, play a scantily clad woman. All right, Nick's Oasis. a prostitute. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a prostitute. <laughs> That's what they say. That's a good line. They do say that. They're out on the streets. They're going, I'm a prostitute. Advertising their business. You know how they do. Especially when police are nearby. Especially when police are it's nearby. It's not illegal here. It isn't oh, illegal okay. Here. Good. I can show you some crazy things. Are we going with... <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm triple joined in every way. Oh, stop. It's too real. Are you going in? <laughs> you going to Oasis? Sure. All right. This is, this is very important. So, um... I'm just going to queue up some music real quick. Uh... Uh, right here. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here it is. Perfect. Yep. Welcome to Oasis. <laughs> All right. Uh, you walk in the Just building. House. <laughs> uh, 
This is a brothel. This is a massive brothel. This is a brothel with four floors. You do not have information on the layout. You do not know what your target looks like. You know your target hangs out here, and his name is Tucat. And you got his rap sheet. He's an oddball. That's all you well, got. Well, if he's a regular, then maybe we'll know him. Okay. Got like a desk I can go to? There is a front desk with a quote-unquote concierge. A man in a turban with elaborate makeup and elaborate jewelry says, Welcome to Oasis. How can I meet your pleasures? Hey, do you know a guy named Toolcat? Toolcat? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Hmm. All right. He checks his sheet. Name? Floppletop. Hmm. How do you spell that? Uh, B-L-O-P-L-E-T-U-P. Mr. Bloppletop, you are not on the list. Um, is it like Orion or, uh, or Osnick or... He looks at you like, no. Please? So you, so you do not have an appointment? I mean, I'm supposed to meet him. Does that count? Hmm. You understand who you are asking to see, yes? Do you understand who you are asking to see? Do, do I? I am asking you the question. Number one prostitute on the <laughs> island. <laughs> the whole continent. <laughs> His name is Two Cat. Um, it's that triple jointed one. I cannot. <clears throat> it's. 20 gold. Uh, 20 gold? <laughs> but, he, but he's expecting us, I think. Do not Who told me that, that the contact is... To, is it just on the sheet? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know? Yeah. Um, Would you like me to take a message to him? That I can do for yeah. free. Yeah. Alright. What is the message? Uh, tell... Waffle tubs here? <laughs> All right. I will tell well, him. Someone's having a really good time. <laughs> I will tell him that <laughs> Blopple Tup is here. All right. He gets one of his guards. He's like a, a little bus boy. His little, uh, you know, his little hat. His little fez. And he just whispers to him. And he goes, What? How do you say that? Blopple what? It's a blopple tub. How do you say it again? Blopple Tup. Blopple is Blopple Tup. That's not a weird name. That's foreigners. I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Your message will be sent. Okay. Are you going to do business here? I don't know. I suggest that you find out or leave. He snaps his fingers. Uh, two guards with giant pikes come. Uh, behemoth of men. Gold wristbands. No shirts. Elaborately long hair. But we're waiting for two cat. glam face. You do business, or you leave. But we're waiting for two cat. I will give you five minutes. If two cat does not come down personally to see you, you leave. Okay. All right. Five minutes. He's just kind of shimmying to the music and standing in the same spot. Okay. All right, now... For the sake of knowing what Brendan would do, uh, Parts wants to do business here. Question is vibrating you, at are, the chance. Are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna let Parts do business here? I, mean, I don't have him on a leash. <laughs> it's over. It's it's over. Parts is gone. I I, I, I don't know. What Brain goes. Are you just gonna? Are you just gonna let him? I mean, he can handle himself. Okay. I think. I, I don't know. I mean, I know that he can kill dragons, but, you know, can he, like, you know. Whatever. This place is weird. <laughs> mm. Alright, um. Someone, uh, comes up. Uh, it's a man in, again, elaborate guard, no shirt, big baggy pants, and he says, What is this new product? You would make a fine addition here. Uh, Rain immediately goes, Can, can we leave? Can I leave? <laughs> I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. I mean, we have to wait for Tukat. Do we have to wait for Tukat? 
I'm not you interested. You can go wait outside I'm, I'm if sorry. you want. Yeah, that'd be great. I'm going to wait outside. <laughs> Man puts right. a brothel at his game and he's too bashful to roleplay it out. Oh, there's an individual roleplaying it. Triple joining! <laughs> That's what they're screaming at parts. <laughs> that, yeah. He's like, okay, okay. There's some, there's some crazy stuff going on. Uh, I don't need to describe it. You know what's going on. Uh, five minutes go by. Tukat has not come to see you personally. The concierge says, Sir, I think it's time for you to leave. Has he responded? Uh, no. He does not know who you are. He said, what? Can I go talk to him? You are wasting my time. Please leave. Please. Roll persuasion with a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> but he sounds so sad. He does He's... sound so sad. Uh, I got a four. No. Leave. He snaps his fingers. The two buff shirtless men with giant spears I run upstairs. pick you up and miss. <laughs> Roll oh initiative. my god, do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Roll initiative. <laughs> I got an eight. <laughs> oh my lord. I should have expected this. Okay. Um, you're about to run, right? Yeah. Cool. I'm setting myself up at the staircase. Uh, there's a staircase to your left and to your right uh, leading upstairs. The lobby's big. I'm not drawing it. Uh, we're going <laughs> to say that you're here. B1 is going to immediately run to the staircase. The other guy, uh, should be B2, is just going to walk right up to you. Uh, and he's just going to straight up grapple you. He rolled a 19 plus 4 is a 23. What, I rolled an up to grapple? Uh, yeah, athletics, athletics or, acrobatics. or acrobatics. I didn't get that. <laughs> okay, um, he's going to chuck you out the front door. So, um, you are being chucked. Um, let's see how okay. many feet you go. Uh, you go eight feet out the front door and take, uh, four bludgeoning damage. Uh. What the hell? All right. The other guy comes up at the door. They're now blockading the door. You are still in combat. What do you want to do? Meanies. That's all. Okay. You meaty. Great. <laughs> so, um, how'd it go? I don't think he's coming down. Well. All right. Rain looks around up at the building. What if he just climbed up? Yeah, we can try that. I'm saying right. this from the ground. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the guy's already left here on the ground, facing the sand. We're going to try it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rain goes. Well, I don't. Hold on. Do we even know where he is? I mean, upstairs? I don't know. There's four floors. He says, yeah, he says four. I mean, start from the bottom, go to the. I mean, start from the top, go to the I mean, bottom. He sounds pretty important. He'd probably be at the top, right? Yeah, 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 it looks pretty important up there. Are there windows? Oh, yeah. There's, uh. Let me check how many windows there are. There are large windows, uh, so there's eight windows. One on the one set, one column on the left, one column on the right, and they're pretty massive, and they're just open air with uh, big silk curtains on them. Is there any reasonable way to get up besides just scaling the side of this building? Uh, well, I mean, I have claws, so I could probably. Nice, oh, sandstone. I don't think it's that tough. Well, they didn't kick you out, so you want to try and go up there? Not really. I don't want to get arrested. I don't know, they'll just like throw you out like they did me, it was a I big deal. I don't know, I I think if I tried to break in, they'd make a bit of a bigger deal about it. Can we get parts to try? Where's he at? I don't know. I don't know. He's probably still in there. Mm. I don't think mm. this is going well. <laughs> I think this is going badly. What else does your sheet say? What does my sheet say? Uh, it says that Tucat is critical for getting protection to going towards the tomb. Now, uh, blah, 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 tomb of blah, 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 Parapatak, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's south of the city. Uh, you'll have to hire a navigator to get there. 
you should be able to get a discount once Two Cats uses his guys to uh, help you out. Hmm. If not, it's gonna be expensive. But you need a guide to get to the tomb. We could like wait here for him. Just ask people if they're Two Cat when they walk in, walk out. You want to ask every person coming out of the brothel if they're Two Cat? Yeah. Okay. Or if, or if we can ask people know him, like what he looks like, maybe that'll help. We should probably do that first. Who do we ask? Uh, he, he finds the first person that's leaving or entering the building. All right, drunk guy, got it. Hello, sir. Oh, he gets up, by the way. Hey, Hello, sir. Uh, he's not that big. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> he's huge. What, what, huge. Do you, what do you want? Who are you? What do you? What do you? What do you? Do you know a guy named Two You don't have a face. He pokes you in the face. Ah. Oh. He starts rubbing his hand on your face. Does Bob have really skin? Weird. Like, what does he feel like? I have no idea. He's finding this drunk guy's finding out though. He's the first he's one to know. Tell he's, us. A, he's a scientist. <laughs> I mean, I, what, what do you want me to explain? The drunk guy has all the knowledge. Like, oh. He feels he like a water screaming. balloon full of marbles. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, "Where are you from?" Uh, the ocean? Hmm. Never been there. I've been here though. This is an ocean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he starts drinking more. Do you know a guy named Two Cat? No, oh, I hate that guy. Oh, what's he look like? A tiny little rat man. He's got his biggies. He's got hair all over his body. He's like four feet, no, like three feet. He's like three feet tall. Big hairy guy. Big hairy guy. Can't Big miss him. Big hairy guy, four feet Can't tall. miss him. Like a little teddy bear. Why do you him. hate him? He's big, he's a dragon, he's can't let me in the butter, he's can't let me in the nuts. Is he in there? He points at the brothel. Oh yeah, he's always in there. This is on the uh, caravan. He runs his caravan to get there. My brother work with him, he's no good, he's a no good man. He's a bad man. Can you help us get to him? No, they hit me. Uh, um, okay, thank you. Mm. Your face is so soft. <laughs> he goes to grab your face. Hey, you can stop touching my face, please. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Like this. Uh, he, he falls asleep in your arms. He's like, out. I don't pick him up. <laughs> right, he's down, face down in the sand. All right, so we're looking for... I just turn around. We're looking for... What, what did I write down? Small, hairy, three big guy, four feet tall. <laughs> I mean, how many hairy uh, baby? How many three foot tall hairy guys could be around here? Yeah, exactly. So it'd be easy. So what do we just like wait for him to come out? Yeah. What if he lives in there? Oh, he's gotta come out eventually. Is there a back door? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's built into the wall. <laughs> I don't think there's a back door because then the back door would be you could just get through the wall. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, let's just wait here for him. We we'll wait for waiting. parts, too. Okay. Are we we gotta wait for him anyway. Are we just gonna leave? You know what I'm gonna do? She picks up the drunk guy and uh, just dumps his body in like a little side, uh, like a gutter where the street's a little lower. And she goes, there we go. Huh. Sorry, he's bothering me. Alright, keep an eye out for small hairy dude. Three foot tall hairy. Okay. Maybe we should go to the temple. Or, um, I mean, I guess we're on the lookout now. Yeah. I mean, you can go tell me if you want, but I, I gotta look for him. No, I probably shouldn't leave my general alone in the middle of a weird city. Mm. True. Man, I wish I was at the temple right oh, now. Oh, no! Alright. <laughs> Going to the <laughs> temple group. <laughs> Joy, Dalton, Nilbach, Kelly, Ariel, Vita! Yay! Alright. So, uh, Caliari and Ayo Vita are making their way to the temple with the others uh, following, and Nilbog happily traipsing behind them. Uh, Ayurveda still has quite a gaggle of followers. No, oh, you're not supposed to open right now. Has quite a gaggle of followers that has only grown as you're making your way towards the temple. It is quite an impressive building, a square base with spires on the sides, uh, a gold trim, uh, two bars near the top, and then the massive gold dome with its own spire. Uh, across the front is silver lining in between the gold and draconic script written all over it. Hmm. 
fascinating. Never been to the temple myself, first time. Shall Have we? Have you been to Tarshif before? Um, I've... No. I've heard okay. stories. I have compatriots that did business here. So, you're going in. Yeah. All right. Uh, walking into the temple, uh, many of the followers sort of stop at the foot of the temple, uh, not not wanting to go in, but then talking about uh, Ayurveda, and then eventually uh, dispersing. Uh, as you make your way in, things quiet down. The interior of the temple is quite ornate, whereas many of the buildings are plain sandstone. This seems to be marble. Uh, the interior pillars are pure white, the floor tiled black and white, leading up to a massive altar and a statue of a silver dragon. Quite impressive. Didn't know they had oh. craftsmen that were capable of this here. <laughs> Uh, the temple is fairly vacant. There are a few individuals praying. Many look up at Ayurveda, but this time they don't go over to uh, ogle at her. Hmm. Well, it's certainly quieter here. Yeah. I, you know, we're good. What exactly are we going to do? I don't know. I left the perfect person in charge. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I mean, yeah. we're supposed to find... We, 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 we want a djinn, right? So, like... Um... As far as Orion had briefed Blobbletop last I checked, we need to make our way to a tomb. So what's the point of the temple? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just a landmark. You guys want to go there. Well, when Osnek told us, he said that there were mystical desert temples that may contain genies. Oh. I That's think... specifically what I wrote I, down. I, I see. No, he's not referring to this. He's referring to the ruins in the desert, which we would need uh, guides to take us to. This dang is... It. Yes. I see the confusion. Here's the problem. We're going to have to find some way out of this bloody citadel. With the amount of attention we're gathering... Somebody will take us there for free, surely. To be honest, I don't have the utmost of faith in our other group. I'm fairly certain Parts is not coming out of Oasis within the next 24 hours, from what little I know of him. And as for Rain and uh, the General... Uh... What, what was that noise? It was, um... It was a crisp noise. Oh, it got crisped? It was just a... Uh... Did that uh, one come there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, do you... I mean... It doesn't seem like anybody's going to bother you here, so we could... If you don't want to go there, we could leave you here. Not at Oasis. I think what we should do... Honestly, if there's nothing of interest here, we should check on how the Oasis group is doing. And um, from there... We need to procure ourselves a caravan to the desert, or some form of protection. Yeah, I'm sure you can, like, talk to anybody and they would do it. I'm fairly certain. So, we could sidestep the brothel entirely. I feel like we need to do a rescue mission, though. I feel like, I, now that you, now that we're talking out loud about it... Do you think, think they've messed it? it up that badly? No, maybe... We should probably just go check on them. Yeah. Well, this was an eventful I don't trip. I don't think I'm in charge here. Just to be clear, I don't think I'm a. I don't think I'm in the. I don't think I'm in the hierarchy at all. Uh, I. I don't frankly know. What I do know is I'm fairly certain three of the individuals standing in this circle were chosen for their intelligence. So. Oh, did we send the stupid people to the brothel? We did. Okay. Which, frankly, is not out of character. They popped up as a stupid. He's 
Three well, points above average. <laughs> all right. Joy speaks up for the first time. He says, well, hold on. Since we're discussing plans, I don't mean to pull rank, but I'm fairly certain myself and Captain Dalton at this point are the highest ranking members of this group, meaning I would prefer we preserve the hierarchy in this mission structure. Very well. What do you suggest we do? I think we should, um... I think we should do what you said and go get a caravan. All right. All right, well, I guess we're going to do that. Brilliant leadership, Captain. Absolutely brilliant. What is this little creature doing here? And she points to Nilbog. He goes, I'm here for the ride. I'm on your side. Is that so? <laughs> All right. Shall we? Uh. Sure. Lead the way. You seem to know the city better than the rest of us. All right, well, I guess this is happening now. It's a good thing I brought competent NPCs that can uh, that can follow plot hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. eight intelligence and out-of-date information. <laughs> you do have out-of-date information. Wobbletop <laughs> does have the information, and he just blew it with his in. So it's pretty much all over now. So we're in full backup mode now. All right, well, you ready? Yep. Ready for your perception checks? Yeah. All perception for looking at people coming out of coming out of the brothel. Uh, I rolled a two, which means I have a ten. That's great. I gotta make <laughs> sure I'm spelling this right. Is it a palanquin? I think it's a palanquin. It is a palanquin. An individual comes out of the brothel. Uh, however, you can't see who it is because they're riding in a palanquin, which, if you're not familiar, is uh, one of those big boxes uh, that has curtains all around it and has four uh, really strong dudes uh, carrying it. Uh, so, you if haven't have, seen anyone. If I have um, mm -hmm. blind sight, can I see through it? You know what? Or that's, sense through it? That's 100% true. Good catch. Well, that's convenient. You're wearing the blindfold, aren't you? I put it on. You put on the blind. <laughs> oh, so you haven't been wearing it, but now you put it on? When I saw the palanquin. Okay, yeah. okay, got it. Uh, so not seeing anyone matching the description of Two Cat, as the palanquin exits the brothel, uh, you look inside to in fact see um, a woman. Um, again, not many clothes on. And in her arms is a small, strange creature, about three foot tall, covered head to toe in hair, black beady eyes, a short, scrunched up nose, and a euphoric look on his face. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Is that him? Alright. Might be. I don't know. Small, kind of hairy. It's hard to tell. Those are pretty much the two descriptions we have. It's gotta be him, Let me step right? up to it. Hello! Hmm. Halt! <laughs> How dare you stop our uh, caravan? Who are you? Nick just sent me a wild DM. Okay. Uh, is two cat in there? Huh? Alright. The small creature emerges from his uh, his little carriage, poking his head out, and says, Who, who are you? Uh, Blobbletop? I was supposed to meet you, I think. Hmm? Help us get somewhere. Yeah. He crawls out temple? of his. He crawls out of his palanquin. Uh, he he waddles up and looks up at you, and he pokes you in the chest. He goes, "Never seen you in my life." Punk. Did, so did anyone elaborate the pop up how I'm supposed to talk to Two Cat? <laughs> how like how they set this up? Well, Orion says it's his contact. Oh, true. It did come from Orion. Do you mm. know uh, a guy named Orion? He stares at you for about like 20 seconds in dead silence. He said, uh... What's he look like? Here. What's a riot look like? Oh my god. <laughs> Pale, long white hair. Reddish no, eyes. He's pale. Well, he's blonde. <laughs> oh, blonde? Okay. 
It was like bleach blonde though, right? Blonde hair. Hmm. Pretty yellow. Crazy eyes. Sir, would you like us to kill this man? No, no, no. Hold on. I'm, I feel like I should know this. How tall is he? Is he tall or just kind of like a guy? Pretty like average height. I think he's like yeah, tall. Um, what's he do for work? I mean, like in general? I don't know. <sighs> Wait a minute. What's his last name? Uh, well, think Edgy. The worst person to ask. <laughs> think Edgy. He doesn't, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Left of roll history? Yeah, you have to roll history. You don't know his last name. This is hilarious. I got seven. One second. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you give him the last night? name? Night? Nightshade? Yeah. Oh. I've seen him in a long time. What's he want? Oh. He wants his favor. Mm. You here to collect? Yeah. Hmm. What do you want? He just gives you the part of the paper that he has that says what we need you for. <laughs> oh. This is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is easy. Oh, this is easy. No money? Eh. Oh. I, I mean, if you, I mean, I like nah, this. Nah, yeah, nah. I like this Orion guy. This is a good favor. I can do this. I owe him a lot of money. Lot of money. I'm big shot now. I could have killed him if I wanted to. He knows how strong I am. Oh well. This is easy. You just need a caravan, and I can make sure you get from point. Oh, my microphone. <clears throat> I just need to make sure you get from point A to point B. Is that it? Yeah. I can do that. But I ain't no punk. And tell Orion it's gonna cost him. Because the tables have turned since last we met. I'm the top dog now. I ride in a box. See? I have brought a, a hairy See? creature talking up to my chest. Yes. <laughs> so tell him. Oh, yeah, of course, of it's course. It's gonna cost him. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Yeah. Well, I haven't told you what it's gonna cost him yet. I mean, we can work that out. No, I, I want to figure it out now. What should it cost him? Something expensive. Oh. Um, Doesn't he have jewelry? Yeah, hey, like like a ring or something. Yeah, stuff that would resell here, real good. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, he I'll around here? Can I talk to him? Uh, no, he's like a gajillion miles that way. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let him know the tables have turned. I'll do this for him for old times' sake. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna go back. So, um, why don't you just take the box, and I'll take the broad, and, um, they'll make sure you get to, the, uh, whatever the hell this place is. Yeah? Uh, that's it? Yeah, why not? You got a problem? I mean, is that, like, is that enough? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I will find you. He will pay. So, yes. Huh. Okay. All right. Great doing business with you. He shakes your hand. All right. Shake. All right. All right, get out of here, Nancy. All right, and then he uh, takes out this six-foot-tall <laughs> bronze woman in heels and <laughs> takes her by the hand and goes straight back in. Uh, and all of the guards just look at you extremely confused. Um... <laughs> They're all just staring at you. These these are the same guys that kick you out, by the way. Oh, good to know. <laughs> uh, B team arrives uh, in the middle of the stare off, and uh, Ayavita walks up and says, "Oh, what's this?" Uh, so we we found the guy. Oh. He was in this box, and uh, he said we're gonna, we can use the box to get where we need to go. Oh. All right. I thought things were going to be much worse for some reason. Where's Parts? Oh, in there. Are we going to fetch him? 
How long has it been since uh, we got kicked like out? 20 minutes. He's been in there for a little bit. So, are we going to fetch him? I don't know if I can go back. Well, he looks at the guys that kicked him out. I mean, they're here. Yeah, let me go look for him. Uh, why don't you let us do that? The orc? Uh, uh yeah. Mm. Alright, they drop the palanquin. And they immediately go back. A few minutes go by. Are you just waiting? How big is this palanquin? Oh, big enough for you. That's about it. Huh. <laughs> the guards are uh, looking over the paper and uh, discussing in thieves' camp. Oh, good. What are, what are they saying? Saying, should be an easy route. Hire a caravan from Damasel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> you want to take the yeah. other door? Hell no. I think we're going to have to. This guy's a weirdo. I don't even know what's his deal. How does he know the boss? That's about it. There's actually a word for that in Thieves' Camp. No, they just go. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone else hears a bunch of nonsense and the two guys shrugging at each other. <laughs> Alright, uh, 25 minutes. Uh, so five minutes go by, Parts is being dragged out by B1 and B2, he goes, No! 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 <laughs> no! And he drops in front of Blah Blah Top. He goes, he comes up, he comes up from his knees, he goes, You did this. You did this. You can't let me have anything good. Yeah. Fine. What are we doing? Where are we going? I mean, they're gonna, gonna like take us somewhere, I guess. Who is the leader of this group? Oh, it's me. Into the palanquin. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you getting in? He awkwardly steps into it. Yeah. It's nasty in here. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not elaborating. All right. Um. Well, you make your way across town. With a motley crew. Oh, there's probably like hair in there too. Like, oh it's yeah. Gonna be, oh. <laughs> oh, like dog, like dog hair, all over the pillows, which are not in good shape. Um, yeah. What? Well, I'm not. I'm not describing it anymore. I hate to. Why are the pillows crunchy? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you make your way across town. Uh, at this point, um, B uh, one. It was gonna turn. Uh, well, I guess I don't know if you guys really need a map, but uh, yeah, I guess you're just not gonna get a map of the city unless you go out and buy one, which you should do because I worked really hard on a map. You should go buy a map. But uh, other than that, I saw a premonition at that. Past uh, the bazaar. Wait, there's some. Uh, oh, wait, I'm getting a message from. Uh, I prove your God. I need a map. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you gonna stop in the bazaar? Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, you have your palanquin stop in the bazaar. Oh, and they say, yeah. Uh, I want to get a map. Where can I get a map? Of the city? Yeah. Oh, easy. Oh, get one. All right, they drop the palanquin. They say, stay here. Uh, they have it guarded. Um, they get a few other guys. One guy working the bazaar. He walks up to a guy, talks to him in these pants. Uh, there's some guy who knows a boss and needs a map. Uh, the only Caliari can understand that, I presume. And he goes, map. Map of what? The black market? No, it's just a map of the city. Oh, okay. There he goes. Gets you a map. And whoa, here's your map. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! 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 Look at this map that some map maker worked so hard to make and is relevant to what's happening right now. Uh, so you find yourself in the uh, bazaar in the middle of the city. You've just passed the Great Spring, and you're going to go on to the Caravanastery, where hopefully they can get you a caravan with guards that will take you out to the tomb annotated on Orion's rap sheet. Unfortunately, that's about it. This is Oasis. This is a temple. There is a section called Vault, which is curious, uh, and there is a palace, which you guys probably saw on the way, not Blopletup, but the others. It was covered by... Uh, the mountain on your way in, and then you turn the opposite direction, heading towards Oasis and the temple. So, there you go. Isn't that cool? Wow. wow. Time to put it in the images chat, because now you have it forever. Woo! 
because I'm so generous like that. All right. Now, uh, your palanquin moves on after you've acquired your map. Well, actually, is there anything else you want in the bazaar? Um, Do they have anything uh, cool here? Well, they sell dyes. They sell fabrics, rugs, silk, uh, food. Which, I mean, I don't know if any of you guys actually have any money. I think you're all poor at this point. I have 300 gold. I mean, that's enough to buy a kebab or two. They got kebabs. The economy is in shambles. <laughs> and Bobble Top and Kyler are prime robbing victims right now. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of true. I've been around the bend. Well, we can carry on. There's nothing There's nothing restricting you to the bazaar. You do have mission. I mean, it's, it's like a McDonald's right through it. I looked at the bag. Oh, is anyone want anything? <laughs> <laughs> So they, not, they don't sell anything like super interesting. There's no like local. Uh, I don't know. There is no local. I don't know. You're gonna have to be. Is there any guy selling like, like cool weapons? Uh, not here. Not like. Okay. Uh, lame. There is a separate market. You're I was not, gonna say commodity. That doesn't foreign, sound like the right word. Foreigners are not allowed in the weapon market. Rude. Yes. All right. Any, any other thoughts anyone has? Nope. All right. You continue in your palanquin to the caravanassery. Eventually, you are put down, dropped. You're still in the palanquin. I mean, you can get out if you want now that you're stopped. Everybody else has eyes on the city, so traveling in the palanquin is actually kind of a disadvantage. Um, you're at this spot, which is not much more than a collection of tents and a few uh, basic stone buildings and archway in between them. Here, there's a number of camels, some dromedaries, and every now and again, your odd horse. Uh, but these are, uh, this is a massive trading hub where caravans of hundreds of camels come in, trekking through the desert with spice, with a lot of gold, with silks, fabrics, any number of dyes, many of which seem to be coming out of Tarshiv as imports. Um, your men head over and begin talking. Basically, they're just acting autonomously at this point. If you want to follow them, you can, but they're really expecting you to stay with the palanquin. Two of them split off and begin talking with some of the organizers in the caravanastery making requests. And in about five minutes, you are kitted up with a train of camels ready to head into the desert. Sweet. Ready to go? I suppose. Um, hold up, Nick sent me a message. I'm sure this is important. Real mugshot fan dub energy. I don't know what in the world that means. So I'm just gonna uh, move on. Okay. That took a lot longer than expected. I did not think that you would not be able to meet with Tucat. It was supposed to get in and get out. It was gonna be real quick. It was gonna be real easy. But you know what? It's fine. You know why? It was because what did I, you know, I tried the easy thing. I went in and I asked for Tucat. <laughs> he, needed, he needed to say Orion. Oh. He needed to specifically tell him. Oh, I, I did. Well, you did, but when, the I, desk. when I asked you what message do you want to give to him, you said Bloppletup is here. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see what you did wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, the yeah. clerk doesn't know who the hell Orion is. Two Cat knows who Orion is. That's the name you need to drop. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, whatever. You live in your life. Orion or Schmein. It you know? was funny. You have your caravan. Uh, the palanquin is left behind. The other guards are left behind. New guards accompany you on this caravan in black and red garb um, with face masks. Uh, you don't exactly know what that means for those of you who aren't local, but these are uh, elite guardsmen for your caravan. Nobody's going to touch you. Um, is this hot here? Oh, it's extremely hot. Um, but it's evening now, so it's not as bad. The city is also quite temperate. It's very humid, extremely humid, but temperate. But as you head, I into think it's the time desert, for the first time in months for Bubto to take off his winter boots and heavy armor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not the heavy armor, but the winter yes, boots for sure. That, that for sure. Um, <laughs> but as your caravan heads out with your four guards and probably your like eight or so camels, I think that's probably what you'll need. Yeah, with the uh, guards on horses, you guys make your way out uh, into the desert. 
Uh, it's 4.30 now, so the blazing sun is a little bit lower, so the heat is not as oppressive, which actually works to your advantage. Although it means if you're planning on making this a day trip, you're running behind schedule because right on cue, half an hour on your uh, way into the desert at 5 p.m., Osnek does his 5 p.m. check-in, sending a message to Blopotop saying, How is it going? What's the progress so far? Any danger? Uh, we're on our way to the temple. No danger. Two cats weird. Noted. I will tell Orion. You know, it's probably not worth um, sending back. Eh, just scratch that. He's not responding to you. But uh, <laughs> Orion, Orion will be told that two cat is weird. This is important. Also oh, going to a two. Also, uh, I want to also say, uh, two cat says something about this will cost you. Okay, writing that down. Got it. All right. We're finally here. Arriving at the tomb. It is a tomb. It's not a temple. Um, so based on the information Orion got, it doesn't quite line up with what Osnek has said, uh, which is stated on your rap sheet. It's close. Uh, his best lead is about an unrated desert tomb that it may contain a temple, it may contain elaborate traps, it may contain... May who knows what it's going to contain. It's the tomb of an old warrior that died like over 100 years ago, but there's a puzzle that's allegedly blocking the entrance to the tomb, and it hasn't been opened in that whatever 100 or so years. So that's actually what you guys have to crack. It's also a tourist destination, which, as you pull up, about an hour after 5 p.m., after an uneventful trip through the desert, uh, encountered like one scorpion, uh, and that was about it. Nobody touched your caravan. Uh, it's not a super common route. Uh, and as it's 6 p.m., hopefully there aren't a ton of people uh, at the tomb. But as you pull up, let me get a, let me get this ready. I don't even know. I think this should, yeah, this should pretty much be fine. All right, who do we have? Who do we have? Nilbog, I'll be a parse cabin. Okay, Choi, all right, great. All right, as your caravan uh, unloads, uh, the guards uh, there ask, shall we wait for you here? Uh, yeah. Very well. All right, uh, and they begin to set up camp uh, just outside of the tomb. Uh, you are not the only ones uh, who have a camp out here. There are a few other tents, as it appears that this tourist attraction is somewhat active. Uh, there are about three other tents, <laughs> and it looks like there are some people milling about. Um, some people who have really, really bad sunburn and appear to be from Coruscare, so Coruscarians, <laughs> and they're walking around, uh, and uh, you know they're in their tent and they're like making their little, uh, making their little bunch, supper. Bunch of rednecks in RVs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other two tents are empty and don't seem to have anything in them, uh, but the Coruscarians are sitting out here making dinner, uh, and they have uh, a two horses next to their uh, their tent. And that is uh, that's probably about it, honestly. Let me make them bigger. Nobody else so in sight as of now. But, so what does like, the entrance to this place look like? Yes. Like, what are I we am, looking at? I'm just getting that. Uh, the door to the tomb. Uh, at this point, it is closed, but not all the way. It's clear that it can be opened. It is a large, large sandstone double door uh, with an archway at the top rounding off. Above it is an inscription written in a seemingly old form of some kind of uh, written language that is not, not known to you. Um, at least I don't think. I think it should be impossible. Um... Beneath it, though, is an inscription in common that reads, The Tomb of Parapatak. Huh. Very humble entrance. But the doors seem to be easy enough to open. I'm going to try and open it. All right. Walking up to the doors, make a strength check. Uh, bush, bu -bu, uh, With disadvantage. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, yub. Uh, 13. 
with disadvantage. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, Blobletop showing no sign that he's actually actively dying, easily pushes open the doors and makes his way into the tomb. I'm guessing everybody else is following. Yep. Right, they want yeah. to. Okay. <clears throat> Do we get the vibe that this is like... What? Would it walking like in here be like walking into the to the like pyramids? <laughs> like um, are we like not supposed to be doing this? No. And I will tell you why. Tour uh, guide. Oh I mean, who says, who says you're not supposed to walk into the pyramids? Yeah. Um a tour we guide walk into a gift shop. <laughs> yes, a tour guide is sitting uh, at the foot of a statue with a tiny little table in front of him with a couple of pamphlets nodding asleep and he goes, Oh, Another group. Um, you are not on the schedule. Um, traveling independently. Yeah. Oh, welcome, welcome to the tomb of Parapatak. I can be your tour guide, giving you history and lessons for the small fee of two gold per person. Per person. Man, it's expensive here. <laughs> so, well, what how if many I in we... your group? Oh, mm. Um, do we do we need to do the tour? Could we just walk around? Oh, I insist the guided tour is essential for understanding the deep, rich history of this tomb. Okay, right, well, so I hand we're two, also I hand, just allowed to walk around, right? Hand him two gold. Yes, just two gold, and the, I uh, I point to I point to the nobog. Yeah, uh, you can take him, and he'll uh, <laughs> he really wants to go on the tour. It's like his birthday. Ooh, I love guided tours. They're never full of snores. <laughs> Um, all right, just him. Yeah. Very well. And what's your name? I'm the Nilbog. I smell like a frog. <laughs> um, all right. Um, is that a goblin? Oh, no. I was a goblin, but now I'm more like a, a, a boblin. What does that mean? That was a good one. I'm He's ready for really the tour now. Kapow! The tour guide if, is mortified. This is going to sound crazy. If he explodes, it's okay. <laughs> we're just warning you in advance. I'm sorry. He's a medical condition. That's why we're doing this. I'm sorry. What? Oh, is he? Oh, what? Okay. Uh, two gold is two gold. Two gold is two gold. Come with me and I will ex uh, regale you with tales of... Um, Parapatak, yes, yes, yes. As you see, standing before you. Why is the statue so big? How did you get this gig? Um, I've been doing this for years. I, my father did the same. Um, the statue is large to convey. All right, are you guys actually listening? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so you guys just walk in, I presume. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, in the background, you may hear some history lessons every now and again. Uh, okay. Um, so did you prepare a whole guided tour? Are we like skipping something that you prepared no. a lot for here? Okay. No. <laughs> no. He solely exists to annoy you, and you paired him with the perfect, <laughs> the perfect little accomplice. So I'm very, I'm very proud of you. Good job. Um, I mean, he might give like real history, but uh, I don't care. I have other ways of of getting you to consume that information that isn't a guided tour, dude. Uh, okay. <laughs> In terms of what you actually see, now I need to do the thing. So this is, let me tell you the story of why I actually made the images chat. I kept forgetting that I had visuals for a bunch of stuff in session and have not been putting them anywhere. So the images chat is for me to remember, hey, sometimes you have things to show, buddy. Uh, and I do have what have we missed out on? Statue. You've missed out on a lot of visuals <laughs> for what enemies look like. That I have oh. like intricately designed. A lot of the knights that you fought have intricate designs with black and purple armor. There are color schemes that run through the Lucinian hierarchy that are all like intentionally planned out. You guys saw basically none of them. I'll probably drop them in chat at some point for hindsight. But for now, this is the statue that stands before you. Probably like 20 feet tall. This is the statue of Parapatak Dragon Slayer. Where is the images chat? There you go. Is that a fella or a gal? That is a uh, roll perception. <laughs> roll a d6. You fool. It's a they them. Oh, I play my trap card. I rolled a nine. Um, you don't know. <laughs> and uh, with a name like uh, Parapatak. Right Wait, do you have a... Yeah. Uh, 
Well, I guess there's not really a passive. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm not going to tell you that. You didn't ask the right question. Um, that's the most okay. obvious thing in the tomb. Massive statue. Uh, to your right. I know the answer. Yeah, to the right is a, a large room. Uh, there are torches lining the walls, simple humble torches burning dimly. Uh, there appear to be special items on the table here and as well on the other side if you care to investigate. And beyond is a very intricately ornate door, which I can describe should you so desire. Where well, what would you like to look at? I mean, the door is the most obvious part. All right. Walking up to the door, you take a look to see what lays before you. This is an intricately ornate door that leads to the next locked chamber of the tomb of Parapatak. The entrance is imposing. It is a massive... Oh, this is the wrong door. This is the door. There it is. That was the other door. Uh, the entrance is imposing. It is made of polished insidian, inlaid with veins of gold, forming the shape of a writhing black dragon. The dragon's eyes are two gleaming rubies glowing faintly. Surrounding the main dragon are etched images of two sister dragon heads, representing the three dragon sisters that Perry slayed long ago. Uh, you will also find, as you realize now, the inscriptions interchange between Parapatak and Perry Patrick, a name which you may have heard before. One is more true to its original pronunciation. One is, I mean, it's anglicized, but, you know, different variants of common. Huh. Okay. Uh, at the center of the door is a large dragon skull, its mouth open in a fearsome roar. Inside the mouth is a golden handle with a horizontal bar nearly begging to be pulled. But above the door is an inscription of draconic runes. You don't know what that says? I point at it. I can read it. Enter the doors if you think yourself stable. Worthy champions are the only ones able, for only those who have conquered my prey can open the chamber and pave the way. Should a fool come running and not be a slayer, such fool should stop or recite their last prayer. And coming now to the door with the iconic inscription, we see... Well, I, I'm afraid I can't continue my tour with you in earshot. You didn't pay the two gold. Uh, what what does what does that message mean? I point at it. Well, uh, we know what it says, but like, what does it mean? Well, you didn't pay the two gold. Only your little uh, friend can uh, know. No bug. Can you like whisper to him? Oh, uh, really? <laughs> All goes, right, I gave him two gold. <laughs> uh, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. That doesn't cover the rest of Subtract you. Subtract four gold. Well, we're not we're not going on the whole tour. We just want this one piece. <sighs> Fine. The inscription reads: "Enter the doors if you think yourself stable. Worthy champions are the only ones able. For only those who have conquered my prey can." I just read it. Oh. Well, the inscription is a riddle that has yet to been solved. By the way, you're not here to try to crack it, are you? You have no idea no. how many individuals come in here attempting to solve the riddle and make their way to the inner chamber. I myself have been trying to crack it for nearly my entire life, as did my father before he passed. But none have been able to open the door or solve the riddle. Truly really is a pointless endeavor. I know the answer, but I also had... <laughs> I had help. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I should say anything. I don't know what that means, but all right. You sent me a message oh, 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 asking yeah, yeah, a pointed question. No, you can't, you can't, you, you, <laughs> it doesn't matter because your character is like way too far out of this. So yeah, this is, this is kind of up to Blappletup and some, some of the others. We'll see. But yeah. So what, what did the message ask. say? Are you able to like type it out? <laughs> yes. Sorry. That just happened. Uh, I will put <laughs> it in the campaign chat. Ew. Why did it get rid of the space? No. Here's full roll typed out for you. What if we just have everyone try the door? Because if it doesn't work, then like, you know, it's not going to matter if we solve it or not. Well, if you nobody like can get vaporize in, you, you have to solve the riddle before you try to open the door. I'm going to walk up and try to open the door. That's Caliari. Yeah. I mean, who else? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm actually playing Choi right now. Okay, make a strength check. <laughs> okay, fine, that's on me. Make a strength check. Uh, 
Uh, what is sixteen? Uh, you yank. It does not give. No budge. Uh, all right, everyone, line up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't exactly see how this is going to accomplish anything. Who are you going first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, make a strength check. Uh, I got seventeen. The door immediately starts to slide out. The door goes, Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> he starts absolutely <laughs> losing his mind. Uh, the Nobog is scared and going, ah, 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 and hides behind Rain as the tour guide is going, What did you do? What did you do? Ah, no, ah. And the door slowly starts to slide out uh, until eventually there is a gap on the right or left that you could fit through. Uh, the tour guide is holding on to you and saying, How did you do that? I, I pulled on the handle. But but I pulled on the handle. What does this mean? I must like really pull really or something? hard. I must go inside. I must see for myself. Uh, you gotta pay us two gold. What? No. <laughs> I have been a tour guide I mean, at this it. establishment for years. I have you sought the prize gold, behind I, this. Fine. I opened it. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I don't you need. Kill this guy. I don't need your gold anymore. Whatever's in that tomb is mine to discover now. Ooh, oh, it's splendid. Oh my. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this guy did not see Aladdin. He he would have known that was coming. Is it silent after that? The new bug comes up to Bobo Tuff and says, I think he's dead. He just probably lost his head. <laughs> All right, somebody punt no bug in there and see what happens. <laughs> I am very do you scared. Think, I do, do not want to go in there. Do you think there's something in there that killed him, or is it because he didn't he couldn't solve it? Like if I go there, am I gonna explode? He, he was very nice to me. His head blows up. It it on him in. Well, he's reforming and he can't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Just Charlie we'll Brown throwing the football. There? Um, not really. You have to sneak your way through and then poke your head in. I guess you could do that. There's a risk to that. Uh, <laughs> a risk. Well, yeah. I mean, that guy just walked <laughs> in ecstatic and then screamed and then he was gone. I mean, I'll go first if you don't want to go, but you solve the riddle. Oh, you're right. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can go in. Yeah, yeah, go in. At least you fit the <laughs> criteria. All oh, right. That's true. You're going in? I did just pull on the door really hard, though. No bugs hiding behind rain. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll see what happens. Ah, good I'm, on you. I'm going to, like, go carefully holding my hand out. Okay. <laughs> just right. in case. Are you just gonna start by looking in? Yeah. Like okay. All right. Let me uh, let me let me clear the roof for you. Let me uh, <laughs> let me clear this out. In front of you lies a, a hallway. Bugbear, it's robbers. <laughs> Those are murals. Oh. Those are the, yeah, it's not actual things. It's a very long hallway. This guy, this guy's not here. You don't gotta worry about him. <laughs> um, peeking your head through the door, it seems like a normal tiled floor. Murals on the side in a very long hallway, quite well lit. Oops, that's the wrong layer. Leading eventually up to another door, a golden door. You walking forward? What's in there? I, I'm going carefully, yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you alive? So far? I don't know. What is it? It's just a hallway. Oh. What kind of hallway? Calgary? <laughs> hey, it's not funny. The monk, the monk walks up the level top. He died again. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I don't want to lose another friend. Uh, she's fine. Right? All right. I'm going to say it. This is a horrible idea. I'm going in. Uh, We're getting what? another general fired. We're getting another general fired. <laughs> All right, you Let's go. go. It's a hallway. 
uh, with an intricately tiled floor with murals on your left and right, and with a gold. Oh, look at the murals. The murals uh, portray Paripatak or Paripatak slaying bugbears and caravan robbers. They're looking at the oh, cool. look at the blood. Look for blood. Anything like on the on the floor? No, the tiles <laughs> There's look no weird. Evidence that anybody was here. It's an empty hallway. Okay, like check for traps. Yeah, real perception. Oh, that would have been a good idea. I got twenty five. All right. There's no visible traps that you can see. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> Ah, uh, Bluffletop, the tour guide has returned. I come back out. <laughs> what happened? I oh, know. Am I getting sent back to spawn? I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed in there. Well, but what happened? Uh, also, is my is my friend okay? Horrifying monstrosities is beyond my comprehension. I, ah, useless. I go back in. I'm going to quit. <laughs> I am going to leave. <laughs> you go back in. Yeah. All right. I mean, everything's fine. There's nothing in here. It's just a hallway with murals. And I'll just look at each mural. And, uh, if anything pops out, otherwise I'll just keep walking. Yeah. Uh, I'll describe more of what you see. There's a, there's a little bit more detail. Uh, it's a very glorious hallway. Smooth sandstone, gold light flickering on the walls. Uh, crystal sconces enchanted with continual flames with light dancing across the room. It's very otherworldly. And each mirror I'm going to stop moving for a second. Okay. I'm going to walk back. Okay. Uh, back to the door. Okay, all right, hold on. At this point. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly, I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. 18. Okay. Um... You were confronted with uh, nightmarish visions of, of dragons. Uh, you've succeeded your wisdom save, uh, but you have, in fact, incurred... <laughs> 10 necrotic damage. Okay. Is she like rotted a little bit? <laughs> More than she already is. <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> hey, you good? Oh, yeah, they were just, like, visions. I've, I've been there before. Red no. is alive! His head blows up. His head reforms. He continues running. Yay! He hugs you. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were, like, I don't know. That was... Okay. Nilbog is friends with everyone. His head gotcha. blows. Mm. So, wait, what were the visions of? Dragons... Um, coming to kill you. They were gonna kill me. And you just walked back out, like over there. Who were you? What happened? You just spawned in over there. Yeah, I just like appeared. I've had a dragon willing to kill me for like months now. It's fine. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Well, you're more resilient than our tour guide. Huh. All right. I think. Um. I think I'm not going in there. I would prefer not to as well, unless we understand what the riddle actually means. I mean, I'm gonna go back in. Hey, parts. Yeah. Are you afraid of dragons? No, man, I killed him. All right, let's go in there. Yeah. All right, you guys both go in either side. Yep. Yep. Well. Uh, I don't. I don't want to go. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nobody solved the riddle. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Well, zero problem with parts. Uh, well, we only really have one guy that could you, solve you the riddle. Only because have one I'm not allowed to actually solve the riddle. Yeah, it's Nick. Nick, what does the riddle mean? Nick, if you can answer what the riddle actually means, I'll have Rain figured out. It's a riddle for sixth graders. Yeah, but uh, that's why it had to be for first graders. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to make it for first graders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, you passed by murals of Parapatak uh, slaying dragon cultists, uh, slaying a desert abolith, um, 
slaying the witch triplets, and last is a mural of a black dragon titled Milcom. Uh, and passing along, there are murals of two silver dragons labeled Lucinius and Marilius. Huh. You come up to a golden door, absolutely ornate, and the double door unfolds, welcoming you inside. It is literally just you and parts right now. So it's notable that parts made it through. Mm-hmm. All right, fine. I have to roll an intelligence check as rain. It's fine. She <laughs> failed. Other John, did you solve the riddle? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> fine. Then these are the two characters who are going through. I guess. Whatever. I don't well, need anybody else. If you think you're so stable, I, I worthy champions. I didn't hear. For those who have come. Wait, what was it? I didn't hear. It's, the in, it's the in campaign chat. Yeah, it's Maybe written you down. That riddle. Be a slayer. Does it mean like you've killed a dragon? Oh, he solved the riddle. Oh, wow, fine. All right. Rain goes through the doors. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. He messaged me, has Caliari ever participated in the killing of a dragon? And I, I said, no. He said, that's unfortunate. So I, I thought that was too simple for it to be the answer. <laughs> no, I couldn't it's say really anything. Simple. It's really simple. Rain goes, I figured it out. I, uh, Guys, I figured it out. I killed a dragon. <laughs> killed so, um, a camel before. I'm fine. Well, this place oh, cool. is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The door is open. Uh, in front of you is a large circular room, even more ornate than the hallway. And there's a curious sighting in the middle of the room. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, where am I reading? There it is. It is a circular room with a small circular stone table in its center. Uh, around the edge of the circular room is a small ridge of water, like a water basin, uh, between dark stone bricks. Uh, pillars uh, on the wall meeting up to the top of a dome where a skeletal dragon head dangles from the ceiling like an ornamental chandelier. A simple sandstone double door blocks the entry to the latter portion of the tomb along the back wall here. On the table in the middle of the room, the small table, I mean it's really a, a platform, it doesn't have legs, uh, but a, a small circular platform, there are five carved sigils, one for each chromatic dragon. Each sigil corresponds to a dragon type, red, blue, green, black, and white. And draconic numbers are written in slots embedded in the table, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Draconic writing lines the sides of the central table, filling the space uh -oh. between intricately carved sandstone <laughs> upper and lower borders. Uh-huh. Do you guys know what that says? Nope. Not a clue. Oh, cool. So so what was exactly on the what exactly was on the surface of the table? Uh sigils. Uh five colored sigils that slot into five numbered slots embedded in the table. And they're already in the slots? Nope. Oh, they're they're placed next to the slots. Yep. Huh. So it's like a circle. You have like a, a pentagon of slots, and then offset rotated is a pentagon of sigils next to them. So it's slot, sigil, slot, sigil, so on. You said there were they colors or symbols? Red, blue, green, black, white, and then draconic numbers and slots embedded in the table. Huh. Well, I'm thinking these are like dragon colors, right? Everything's dragon themed here? Mm-hmm. And these are, and they sound like dragon colors. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Is there like an order in those murals back there? I, I don't know. Anything on the walls around the chamber? Nope. No writing. No murals. Plain sandstone walls. Uh huh. So, uh, now what? Is this like a puzzle? Yeah. Can you read that? No. Oh, you can't even cast spells to read it, huh? I don't, I don't, I don't have spells that would let me read that. Oh, I thought you could do that. Oh. Uh. You have, no. a, you have a piece of paper? No. Wait, yeah. All right, I right. put out the list. <laughs> the instruction set. You have a, you have a pen? Um. No. Somebody's gotta have a pen. 
go to we could copy it and go back. We'll go back, get a pen right. and copy it. All this uh, gibberish. It is gibberish. All right, I'll go get a pen. All right, I mean, I guess I'll wait here. All right, Bobatop walks down a awkwardly 60, walking 60 down the really foot, long hallway. Sixty foot hallway <laughs> with with echoing. Echoing through the halls. A barefoot plops. He took off his boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so did you figure it out? Did you get, get the oh, wish? Yeah, I mean, uh, no, not yet. Uh, there's there's, a, there's another puzzle. But I can't oh. read what it says. I don't have a pen. Oh. I'm going to write it down the, and then bring it back. The tour guide had a pen. Just steal this. And she goes up to his table and gets... It's a draconic, right? I think so. And just copy it exactly. I should be able to read it. Sweet. Oh, he takes the ballpoint right. pen and goes back. Slap, slap, <laughs> slap, 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 slap. Since the tour guide feet. left, I'm going to start messing with the displays, like, mess yeah. with the sword and stuff. That's fair. <laughs> uh, it, it's obviously fake, but it is a uh, executioner greatsword. Flat top, oh. massive, uh, a little bit, like, worn oh. down, but pretty pretty sick. It looks like just a normal greatsword. It's not, like, magical. It says yeah, but it's the executioner sword. It is an executioner greatsword. This is true. Curious. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you can go back to the main thing. I just wanted yes, to. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, you begin uh, copying down. Uh, make for me a general intelligence check. Oh boy. He can. Intelligence. He can. I got eighteen. Okay, he can do it. All right. After minutes of painstaking writing, I mean, you've probably literally been in this tomb for like an hour now. It is uh seven thirty p.m. Uh, oops. Ugh. Forgot his military time. Gross. 1930. Uh, okay. You make your way back with your paper written down, pretty intricately recorded, and Ayavita says, Ah, yes, this is all draconic. Fairly easy to read. And it says, One seeks gold more so than the rest. Two is a traitor, corrupt by all test. Three is malicious, plain evil at best. Four is proud and territory obsessed. Five is frigid, a mad hungry pest. Okay, so it's it's dragons. There's like dragon colors. You know which dragon's which? I mean, yes, you don't. Is it cheating if I tell you the answer? No. Well, how do you know that? (laughs) I mean, I just could've put, like, blocks in holes. I, I mean, I can tell you the answer. I'm just not entirely confident that it won't, I don't know, blow one of us up. I mean, she'll be fine. She looks at you, raising her eyebrows. She doesn't have eyebrows, but if she did, they'd be raised. Hey, did you ever help... Did you ever help kill a dragon? No. Okay, yeah, you can't go in there, then. Yes. That's what Rain said, at least. Yes, I, I solved the riddle. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> but so yeah, which uh, just, uh, which you know, like draw a line? Like which dragon goes to what here? Well, I suppose I can do your job for you. Yes. Right, well. <laughs> I don't know dragon. Should be white as far as fresh as. There you go. Thank you. All right, he goes back. All right. Okay, you come back with your cheat sheet because your NPC <laughs> did your job for you because you can't solve the sixth graders puzzle. Um, I mean, one is red. I put red in one. Two is green. <laughs> I put green in two. Three is black. I put three in black. Four is blue. I put blue in four. Five is white. I put white in five. The door opens. <laughs> disappointed Yay. like it knows that you didn't earn it but you know you met the minimum requirements so i mean, I mean go ahead what, in, i guess could he have like <laughs> could he have just opened up like the monster manual on his computer and done it himself like would that be allowed no it's fine it's whatever bubble tub doesn't know dragons how's he supposed to know yeah, dragons it's not even a big deal it's fine it's, <laughs> I, mean, it it's, it's okay it's, i told you first graders <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's not even okay, that, well, that wasn't like a riddle riddle that was like trivia and if he it doesn't know the trivia. trivia what's he supposed to do i don't know freaking roll I a history check friend. roll a goddamn history check it's 
fine. You, you were supposed could, to get his him money to do up. That. No, I or his funny up. Do that. You gotta figure it out. It's not like I actually care. I do think it's funny though. <laughs> hey, the power of friendship is the greatest power of all, right? It is. Kind no. Of true. Power of friendship lose to a bomb. No. I've tried it. True. The bomb is stronger than the power of friendship. Okay. Listen, I can't remember. Do you think Blobtop will remember it? The guy was born like five months ago. No. <laughs> Let me no. check Blobtop's intelligence. I think it's more than like a zero. All right. Hold on, we're gonna get rid of. <laughs> he's not dumb. He, is, he isn't stupid. <laughs> yeah. He's not stupid. He knew the best way to do it would be to go get help. <laughs> I mean, he's okay. Hold up. That's not wrong. Hold the, up, hold the, up. The he's best actually part smarter than all of us. Knowing how to use your resources. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Okay. Um. All right, final section of the tomb. While the room is humble, the loot appears to be nothing of the sort. A rectangular box with a tapered top appears to be the actual final resting place of this great hero. And although it's humble, the contents, as I said, are fantastic. Shining under the dim light of magically lit black flame torches uh, on the left and right walls are a diverse collection of metallic goodies. Uh, there appears to be a shield of the Paladin of Helm, uh, as it has an eye on it a metal heavy crossbow, a grand silver staff with a blue orb affixed upon its elegant hollow spire, and upon the front of the tomb is engraved a brass plaque reading, We were honored to adventure with you. We are sorry we could not join you on your last adventure. We leave you with much less than you gave us. Huh. Cute. What's on no the walls? Grab all their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, Baba Duff? What's on the walls? Uh, what's on the walls on the left and right are more murals. Uh, there are pillars separating two rooms of murals. Huh. Would I'd, you like uh, to look at the murals? Yeah. I'd, first I'm going to say, uh, probably don't touch anything yet. It could be trapped. Yeah. Cursed or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. It's a tomb, right. so it's all icky, you know? Which, uh, which mural are you going to first? Birth. All right. Birth portrays a black dragon giving birth to seven dragons, and three of them growing in a trail, uh, and they all are wearing little witch hats. <laughs> That's insane, but all right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what, what do you want from me? Yeah, what, what's Discovery? Discovery, uh, a mural of a silver dragon discovering a three-headed dragon wearing the witch hats and a larger dragon uh, and doing battle. Uh, I'll cross the room. What's this one? The three heads being chopped off by a familiar face. The same figure, seemingly, as was in the statue earlier in the room. And the last one? The last one is uh, the burial and remembrance of the warrior with her three traveling companions portrayed here. A noble wizard, a paladin, and a... Uh, well, a dwarf with... You can't really tell what, what exactly he is. Huh. Neat. And there's, like, a door or anything? Um, in the back of the room, yes, crossing behind, you don't see a door. You do see a wall with a... There's, like, a half wall. These are two pillars and then a half wall. On the half wall is a dragon slayer great, great blade, labeled as such. This appears to be the real sword of uh, Parapatak. On the oh, cool. back is a mirror with an inscription above it. You want to take a guess what language the inscription is in? And Jerkonic. No. Celestial. Oh. I can read that. You can read that. Good job. <laughs> in Celestial, above the door, written the words, To those I trust, or those who have come this far, I grant my final wish. I ask only that your desire is noble selfless and pure for all my strength i could not bear the responsibility of such a monumental gift perhaps you can face the mirror and tell it your desire but my desire is selfish <laughs> then have one of the others wish it for you <laughs> did you say that out loud i'm not in the room no 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 oh, okay. top say it out loud my desire is so, it, so it says, uh, I guess it, it's like 
maybe this is the wish thing here? But it says it has to be like a selfless, noble wish. And it was being normal again, a selfless, noble wish? Probably not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. It I've might never like gotten vaporize me a wish if I, before. If I do it wrong. It might. I don't know how any of this works. Does the mirror like look funky if I stand in front of it? It's just a regular mirror. It's a uh, conveniently door sized and door shaped. Can't press on it. <laughs> you press on it, and it doesn't give. Yeah. Oh, you just marked up this mirror. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Huh. Oh, what do you guys think? Can I just uh, make a wish? I mean, I'm not responsible if you get vaporized. He steps forward and then steps back and says nothing. <laughs> Are you afraid to get vaporized? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Rain? Uh, what, would, what would I wish for? I don't know. It's like the question of the day, isn't it? I don't really like... I don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that responsibility. Hey, you can wish for, like, Malachi to get better? Um, He's chill. Isn't that selfish? Is it? Oh. He's my boss. He's like your friend. Yeah, isn't asking for a friend to be healed selfish? Is it? Well, what if I ask for a stranger to be healed? That would be selfless. Yeah, we're like orphans. Yeah, but my friends are my friends. Well, he's like almost an orphan. That kind of counts. I don't know if it does. <laughs> Well, what are we supposed to do? We came this far. We had to go to that stupid whorehouse and that little rat guy. Those are those who have come this far. Again, my final wish: I only they just the noble self to pure from which they can up those. If friends can't face me or tell your desire, a voice rings out in your head. How is the mission going? Can I teleport over? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Osnek hones in on the little <laughs> piece of cloth that he gave you earlier. And, uh, ooh, where's my, where's my color? Oof. He spawns in. He Hello, goes, I'm glad to be He goes, ah, <laughs> well, that worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that seemed to work well. Oh, yeah, hey. Oh. Where, where exactly are we? All right, so we're at the, the end of this place, I guess. This is the oh. guys rest or the, the girls' resting you're, place. You're in the, the, the tomb. People. There's, mo there's multiple. Yeah, there's multiple people. Uh -huh. uh, there's a mirror here. I don't uh. know if you can read that, but it says, "To oh, those I, I trust, or those who have come yes, this far, I can read grant my yes. All right, all right. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, have you made the wish? Uh, no, we're all afraid to try. Oh, I what say... if it like vaporizes us? Oh, uh, well, okay. Because, you know, it's like a moral thing. Like, is asking uh, for myself to be normal, why, is that selfless? Why, why are you worried it would vaporize you? What have you encountered that would lead you to that conclusion? Where did I just teleport into? Is this place oh. a death trap? Well, we tried to get through the first room, and two people tried to get through. The tour guide and Cagliari. That's a tour And they guide? saw, like, horrifying images. Yeah, it's a tourist trap. Oh. Horrifying images oh. of dragons, but... <laughs> Caliari was kind of nonplussed. No, right. But, uh, and they got teleported back here. They're like, back, back well, behind a, us. That's a fairly light punishment as far as desert tombs go. But apparently, if you, like, help to kill a dragon, you can get through. So, you know, it's just the three of us. Oh. And, uh, it was a little puzzle, and I asked for the others' help All to right. do All it, right. and then we I got see. through, and I now see. we're here. Okay, curious. I've killed at least one dragon in my, well, not by myself, but, you know. There was a time. There was a time. Oh, the glory days. So what do, you, what do you think of this mirror? I'm not entirely sure. Allow me to identify it. That will make things much simpler. <sighs> Alright, it's not looking good. This is very potent magic. 
Um, <laughs> it's not exactly going to vaporize you, but if it detects your wish to be selfish, using its own moral judgments, which are beyond my grasp from the Identify spell, it will inflict extreme psychic pain. Oh. Huh. Will probably not kill me. I cannot say the same for you or the others. Uh huh. A noble wish. Is there such a thing? And then I was thinking, you know, we could wish for Malachi to be healthy. Like, is that a noble wish? No, we're all too interested in seeing his well being for our own well being. Mm hmm. A selfish and noble. What if it's like a like indirectly like I wish for myself? Or I'm not gonna say it, but like, like what if I could be better so that I could help people? Huh? Is that is that selfless? I'm not sure. You could, in theory, wish to be strong enough to help others. Hmm. But if your true intent is to merely delay your demise, this mirror will know. It has divine insight. Hmm. Hey, I'll try it. Oh no. <laughs> Are you certain of this? Yeah. All right. Parentheses, no. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, right here. Uh, as, uh, at, at your will, I suppose. Alright, you look into the mirror? Yeah. Speak your wish. I. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like a number wish five, or? a number four, <laughs> two number threes, a number nine, a number nine, 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 a number nine, nine six large. with extra dip. <laughs> To number 45, oh, one with soda. cheese, and a large soda. soda. <laughs> you, you can walk all the way back to us and workshop it with everyone else <laughs> if you wanted to. Not that I'm going to be much help. Bubble Cup's just staring at the mirror with his heart beating 200 beats. <laughs> <laughs> he has a heart? I'm writing that down. I don't know. <laughs> I really have no idea. More Bubble Cup lore. Crabs have hearts. Maybe. I wish to be functional enough and powerful enough to rid the world of the evil of the Moon Lord. Ooh, hold on. Roll persuasion. Since they have extra Roll powerful persuasion hearts. persuasion with advantage. You have to persuade the mirror? <laughs> yeah. I got a 16. Could be somebody, better, could be worse. Well, like somebody could have given that a plus four or something. I don't know. Me? That saves. Oh, no. I'm on it. Guidance. True. He can give himself guidance. He can't cast spells right I now. I can't cast magic. That's the problem. Um, All right. What about Osnick? Stop, stop, stop. You need to recite <laughs> to me every single word that just came out of your mouth. I wish to be uh, functional enough and powerful enough. And strong enough. enough. Oh, powerful. And powerful to enough. Be able to rid the world of the evil of the Moon Lord, I think. Rid the world yeah. of the evil of the Moon Lord. And powerful enough to rid the world of the Moon Lord's <laughs> evil. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Check the tapes. Okay. No, then you'd have to end it. All right. Instead, I'm going to turn okay. into a big bug. Okay. All right. Oh, you turn into a big bug. Because <laughs> nah. I like that. No, no. All right. Um,. Nondescript bug like creature. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. It's because you were already strong enough to do no, that. No, no, no. The no, message no, no. of the movie is so Sending beautiful. you a message. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm crying. I walk into the mirror. Bubbletop walks into the mirror. Okay, Bubbletop. It's just you and me now. <laughs> I have kidnapped you. My, my soundboard thing played. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. 
I'm gonna take off the roof just so that the stream can see it, but you're not gonna see it because I don't feel like putting my stream back up. It's very simple. You're in okay. a a nine foot by nine foot square room. There's no light source aside from a small stone three by three circular platform, exactly like the one in the room prior. Sitting on top of it is a poofy red pillow, and on top of the red pillow, giving off a faint but radiant warm yellow light, is a little spiky ball. It appears to be made of pure energy. What I'll would you like to, to do? You walk up to the ball. Is it like hand sized? It's or is it like very big? small. It could fit in the palm of your hand easily. Mm, very palmable. I palm it. You palm it. Make a constitution saving throw. I got a three. A three. Aim surges through your body. Whatever is happening, you're not sure yet if it is a punishment or a blessing. The words of your exact wish echo through your mind. I wish to be functional enough and powerful enough to be able to rid the world of the evil of the Moon Lord. A complicated wish. And a complicated wish will result in a complicated end. You feel yourself changing. Your senses become clearer. Your body becomes more definitive than it has been in all of your existence. Your brain forms. Your memories are codified. Your life, quite literally, flashes before your eyes. And in a strange conundrum, you find yourself outside of space, outside of time, and simply in a sea of black, comforted only by the light of the wish that lay before you. It is just you in the void, and you have to figure out who you are. Bobbletop, what race would you like to be? Ooh. Um, you can pick Azamar, and things will be simplest. You will be given a divine blessing, but this one not fake. This will be real. You will literally be a child of the gods. You are currently Azamar. It is the closest with what you have. Is this acceptable to you? Or do you wish to take another form? Um, yeah, that works. All right. What is your name? Uh. If you cannot choose, one will be given to you. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. Um. You are outside of time currently. There is zero rush to what is going on. If you don't have an answer now, we can come back to it later. Uh, let's come back to that. Okay. What I propose, if not as a name, is a title. Uh, Vindex. V-I-N-D-E-X. Vindex. Meaning Avenger, Revenger, or Champion. Sounds like Windex. It does sound like Windex. That's the only <laughs> problem. It would go hard if Windex didn't exist. You could go Vindico. Well, nah, that doesn't quite work. There's a, there's a few ones that are kind of cool. They're like a little lame.
We'll come. We'll come back to it. Here's, yeah. Here's what's actually going to happen. We're going to go back to session. They're not going to know whether your wish came true. You're going to need to make a new character sheet, and you're going to be given a new source of your clerical powers because you are now being inherited by the gods uh, as a chosen champion officially against the Moon Lord. Uh, it will result in a name change. I mean, you can't keep your old name. They don't really care that much. But it will result in some slight differences at the very least. Um, but we're going to go back. We're not going to acknowledge that any of this happens. And we're <laughs> going to go to Malachi's dream. And then you and I will discuss at some point the ramifications of what's going to happen with your character. Okay. But for now, tell them nothing. Not a thing. So we just walk through the mirror and then bloop, and then nothing happened pretty much? Uh, we're not even going back to the tomb. Oh, okay. We're going back to, we're going to the dream. So what we're actually going to do, I'll prime you. Lopletup is going to be leading uh, leading the party, being Caliari, Malachi, Parts, and Grodger, down a ravine, similar to the ravine that you traversed uh, to get to the Lucine Asylum. And you will be faced with a uh, important challenge that will, you know, it will, we'll get there. It, it will both be real and will not be real. Consider it, consider it a test for your ascension. Hmm. Protect Malachi. That is your job. Got it? All right. All right. We're going to go back. Not connecting to the phone. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You find yourselves in a narrow ravine being led by Blompletop. Malachi huh? and Caliari follow with Parts and Grodger bringing up the rear. The chasm uh, narrows and widens at points. Uh, Malachi, you recognize this as a very similar structure to when you were in the ravine crossing to the Lucine Asylum as well in your yeah. getaway. Uh, FS, you find yourself somewhat curiously positioned looking over the ravine as if a witness to what is about to happen. Blopletop, as you lead the party forward, you have a premonition that something is coming. Out of the magical darkness in front of you, you hear stomping. You are not alone in this ravine. Everyone, please roll initiative. I got a 10. Yeah, I've got to stop ruling for initiative ever. <laughs> Did you change your profile icon? Yeah. Cool. I was uh, working on it on uh, chat GPT. <laughs> All right, Malachi, you got a 10? No, I got even, a 10. Uh, yeah. What, you what? got an 8. An 8, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what did Blobletop get? 10. 10, okay. Rolling for parts. That doesn't look good. Oh, do I still have his character sheet up? I do. Part's got an eight, so we'll be going at the same time as Malachi. Wobbletup is a ten. Caliari. Sixteen. Okay, that's better. Roger. Roger. He's muted. Liberal. Uh, if anyone can roll it. If anyone hasn't yet, please reset your character sheets. I'm probably going to roll for Grodger then, so we can get the ball rolling um, here. Okay, so quick question. Yes. Have we seen anything yet, or is there still time to, before combat, do There something? is no time. You okay. do not question. yet have agency in what's happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, since it's uh, 9 p.m., am I able to go get some food real quick? <laughs> why, did, why did I know that you haven't eaten? Yeah, go get food. I've never eaten dinner before... Seven, and we started at six thirty. That's crazy. <laughs> Never lived my life like that. Technically, we can end early. We can end early here. We're almost at the three-hour mark. Well, if we're not ending here, we're going into combat. So you know what that means. I'm fine with that. We can easily stop mid-combat because this combat has a, a good um, break point to it. We'll say. But we got our we got our work cut out for us here. 
do we remember what do we remember um you don't have access to any of your memories currently all you know is where you are and the feeling that something is about to happen so we don't remember that we need to protect malachi from last time uh, you can you can know that okay you can have that that uh, inclination but I have no other details to, to give you on your, your circumstance. If everyone's good to keep going on after this, I'm gonna go get food real quick. Are you eating food while we're doing this or are you eating are we taking like a thirty minute hiatus? I don't know what my dinner is. If it's if I have to stay down there it won't be long. If if it's easy to bring up, I'll bring it up. All right. <laughs> let, let us know ASAP, because I've never had to yeah. pause the session. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep rolling. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. I'll let you know. All right. We're rolling. We're live. We're live. So did you guys see the game last night? Oh, <laughs> Manchester United. I don't remember the line. But it's pretty funny, though. I was talking about the Penn State football game. Oh, I thought you were referencing the IT crowd. All right. No, sorry. Kind of crazy to ask that question, because I would take <laughs> pretty solid bets, like my entire life savings, that the answer, if anyone... And this chat was answering honestly, the answer would be no. I know. Well, I mean, the, the <laughs> I I didn't expect anybody to actually have watched the game. I, I'm just... See, Trevor, when you took John, that's the exact line I opened with after after <laughs> a beat of silence. Right, that's that's so pretty good. That's pretty we've good. already had this conversation. <laughs> nice. What'd you guys do down there? I'm. We're not telling you. What's, um, Turn him into a large bug. What was, what was that uh, con bug. save that he rolled a one on? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not your concern right now. Your concern is that you're in a cavern and you need Blopletop to get back so that we can keep playing the game. That's your current, okay, that's question. Okay, question. Mm -hmm. So, going back to his question, his question was, what do we remember? Mm -hmm. Are we kind of like dropped into like the scenario as it was in the past? Maybe. Like when this happened before? Well, you're about to see that this specific thing hasn't happened before. But there are familiar elements. Well, well I'm just saying, because you said this looks like the ravine, like we're going to the asylum. So I'm like, should we just like kind of put ourselves back in the mindset of like, that we did have when we were heading to the asylum? Not necessarily. Uh, okay. The only person whose mind really matters, well, I can't really say that. Um, when you're in a dream, you don't question the circumstance you're in. You you respond to it. And your mind assumes that the circumstance is correct until it's proven wrong. Or in some cases, you realize you're in a dream. But Would that's essentially... Would Kelly Ari be here even though she wasn't in real life? Yes, because it doesn't. It doesn't. You'll see. It's not a one gotcha. to one. All right. Since we're all asking questions, Mr. Yep. DM. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think a dromedary is? What do I think? I think it's a camel with extra steps. I said that. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It's a normal is it not camel. Is it not just the name of the type of creature? It's, it's so the there's two camel. types. There's there's two types of camels. Dromedary is just what you think a camel looks like. If you're envisioning a camel right now, you're envisioning a dromedary. Yeah. Well, where's the extra steps? It's it's a bigger word. It's this. It, it's just the same thing. But it's a bigger. No, word. no, I see his the point. Extra steps. There's there's extra. Pull up, there's extra the, pull up a picture of the Bactrian camel real quick. Yeah, I actually have it. I'm literally looking at it right now. <laughs> That's a camel with extra steps. This, this is a camel that is not a camel, according to what people... Did they know. shave its ass, or it does its ass just look like that? I don't, I don't, I don't, like know, that. I don't know. Like that. Yeah, there's two types of camels. The the dromedary, a.k.a. the Arabian camel, camel, and the Bactrian camel. When do you think this guy's going to be back so that we can play the game? In a fortnight. Yeah, does anybody what if I had a little never mind. Yeah. What no if comment, rolled, your honor. What if you rolled higher than a two this time? Think about it. Hold up, I uh, hold up, I'm on that. I actually can do that. I have a little trick do to do that. Go. Okay, you can do it, yeah. Uh 
Alright, I guess I'll do it easy. I Is it? I may regret this. I may regret this. But we shall see. Keep it simple. Wait a second. I gotta go check some data real quick. He's probably like watching something rotate in the microwave right now. Yeah, that's mm. about right. I should probably roll initiative for my dudes, my bros. You know, in terms of asking me to roll higher than a 20, two, right? Uh, it's not looking good. Eleven plus two is a twenty and a thirteen. I've been doing some test rolls, and I have only gotten above a ten one time. Okay, good to know. Consider the following. Now all the rolls are plus ninety, but I don't think that really makes a difference in this context. No, what? What? It's a, it's a secret move I have, because I downloaded it off the internet. Wow. Secret moves from the internet. Let me tell you, I was I was not ready for uh, Blubble Top to straight up get stonewalled at the two cat section. I was like, oh, how is this? He's not. How is this possible? I understand yeah, you know, it all in hindsight, but you know. If I was there, it would not have gone better. Possibly worse. <laughs> if I was there, would have been way different. I didn't think Orion had to explicitly say, name drop me. He said, this is my contact. Make contact with my contact. But you know. Tukat is a different creature entirely, so. That's a yeah. lot of damage. Okay, I think I'll be fine. I think, yeah, I think I'll be fine. I think I can do this. Yeah, he's, he's playing farm merge. It's kind of crazy right now. I'm not playing farm merge. I'm looking at my stat blocks, and there's one little thing I overlooked that should pretty much put me over the edge. Mostly. Mostly. Can you buy, like, 38 D6s? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I I have 38 d6s, but I don't like. Actually, that's not true. I have like 24 d6s, but uh, yeah, I don't want to roll. I don't want to roll that many of one dice. So I'm just gonna roll on parts of sheet if it comes up. Do 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 do. All right, let's see. He has responded. He says eating very quickly in kitchen. Then I come back up. I think we have had one intermission in D and D before. You know what we can do. We can we can go we can go to the funny we can go to the funny place. You know what you should do to him? What should I do to For him? For every second you should keep taking a oh, hello. Yeah. Found something called monkey verse. Okay. This is huge. Yeah, let me check my to do list here. Hmm. This is Where's my to do list? I think I got rid of my to-do list. This oh, I see. Monkey Verse is in fact not a video game about a monkey, and instead is a creator. Oh, that's kind of lame. Well, that's a little disappointing. I was that, expecting that is, that is disappointing. I was expecting a monkey universe, and all I got was Blood Angels. Yeah, you know we could do. We could check in on Groucher, who's who hasn't been able to do anything yet. He's, He's in, dead. He level. He's dead. What it? What is he doing right now? It has been another day. Should I roll to see how long until he figures out that he can't whittle that um bookshelf? Um, <laughs> do you need to roll for that? Rolling a general, um, apparently I rolled a general intelligence check and uh, okay, I got a four. How's it looking? That's not looking good. But he hasn't. He's an above average intelligence man. He has an intelligence of fourteen. I rolled a four. Yeah, but okay. I mean, okay, yeah. But no, you shouldn't. All right, all right, all right. Here's Pure my... boredom does that to a man. Okay, I, I can't argue with that. But I was going to say, passively, he is smart enough to know from his base intelligence he doesn't need to roll. He will be able to figure out that the bookshelf is not whittleable. Can he, he's going to try to leave the archive. Like just walk out the front door? Yeah. Don't do that. He wouldn't know this is a good idea. He's, I think he, I think he can just do that. 
<laughs> He's just gonna get grabbed. <laughs> you actually wanna do that? Uh, let me roll for story moment. <laughs> what do you mean roll for story moment? Rolling for story moment. I believe the door is closed again. All right, I'm consulting the Matrix. Okay. Door is door is closed and needs Dragon Blood to, to open again. So I mean, you can't really. I don't think you can just. Open oh yeah, it. that's what the Matrix said too. So. Okay, that's good. That's great. What what do you want, Grudger? Are you just happy to have some like vacation days? He's fretting this down. He's gonna sell this book. He's what, gonna make billions. What book? He's gonna make. He's writing a book. Yeah. That's what the notes are for. But the notes aren't the book. Well. Surely. Maybe. Notes are incomprehensible. Yeah, have you ever wanted to see like what the author was thinking when they were writing a book? I don't think any mortal could decipher what was going through Groucher's mind when he wrote what he wrote. I don't know. I think it's pretty decipherable. There's a lot of a lot of good thoughts in there. Are you gonna make me pull up the book and view it on stream? Is that what you want? I'll do it. You're telling me that you don't... Maybe maybe don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> or at least don't read the part about uh, that one guy. Curious. <laughs> D&D notes and sheet. Hmm. Yeah. Get the whole Commander Keel section we, and then we're he good. I might think. be racist against dirt people. Was naked? Question mark. ex -bonistist. Worst <laughs> action he could think of was to sodomize a mole dog. I think that happened, you so... Think, you think this... A book full of this is going to sell. Uh, have you seen what they're reading on TikTok? The answer is yes. <laughs> this isn't TikTok. This is the real world. This is the yeah. I, driver, even before TikTok, this book's like that sold. <laughs> oh man, these are bad. These are these are actually bad. That's not how you spell autistic. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, there's a lot of words that are misspelled in there. <laughs> Darren, a nerd, works at Hot Topic. Who's Flippy Darren? Dipper. I don't know. You haven't written down. You said he's a nerd and he works at Hot Topic. I'm back. Oh, he's back. We have to stop. <laughs> the heck is Darren? We're reviewing Roger Griff's notebook. It's bad in these streets. It's real bad. <laughs> Grudger's just walking around the archives aimlessly. At least presumably. It's really something. I say like a whole country fried steak really quickly. Well, I'm I'm proud of you. Okay, is everybody actually here? We're ready to we're ready to combat for probably oh, like I an found hour? the Darren section. That is actually all that is written. Yeah. Who is Darren? I think I would lie to you. <laughs> I thought there was more. Oh, that's it. Maybe like who Darren is. No, that's all you wrote. Hold up, bro. Can you scroll down to the page of all A's? No, we're doing combat now. <laughs> What about the part where he wrote about he wrote Daft Punk lyrics? You mean he wrote Around the World a hundred times? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was good times. He he did do that. All right, is everybody ready? Jacob. Yeah. What? Tua. All right, great. With our initiatives, things are going to be interesting. Jumping right into it, uh, out of the darkness emerges. Who? Who's up first? One of you rolled a 20. Which one was it? Oh, Regret. To... Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thematically, you guys gotta be like, you guys gonna be like up here? I'm gonna be like up here. <laughs> so that I can you got a him, six. So that I can murk you? Eh, nah, you should be like. We're right. supposed to say that out loud. <laughs> no, no, no. I have to say you're a failure, you know. You know how it be. No, what I am going to do is uh, sprint a full 60 feet uh, at Bloppletup. Uh, claws oh. out. This is a black dragon. Wrong. 
Buckle up. I think that's probably all their movement, though. Uh, they got a flying speed of 80 feet, so I can jump up and fly over to you. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, and now I will uh, multi-attack you. Uh, hey. Buckle up. You actually will probably be fine. Never mind, I rolled a 25. But outside of that one, you'll probably be fine. Yeah, yeah, I only realized my plan. Alright, and that one, oh, that one is the bite, though, so this one is gonna hurt. Uh, you dodge two swiping claw attacks, but the black dragon, immediately roaring out of the darkness, jumps out and bites you, dealing 14 piercing damage. Damn, I got only D8. 14 piercing damage, plus. 7 acid damage. Oh. You got all that? Yeah. Alright. That's the Black Dragon's turn, and it is dead in front of you. Okay. It's dead? Oh, job done! Oh, oh yeah, we, we won. Yeah, <laughs> metaphorically dead. Kelly, are you... Um... Well, I suppose I uh, could uh, stab it. You could do that. That's a thing you could do. I could do that. Or I could cast a spell. It's also a thing you could do. Um... I'm gonna walk up to Malachi and cast a uh, warding bond on him. Okay. Um, bond warded. Nice. And then... Sh um, yeah, it's about... Ooh, whoa, what, what does this do? What is divine favor? Oh, uh, just the weapon damage. Uh... Oh, I could cast Compel Duel. <laughs> that, would be, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll cast Compel Duel on Princess of Regret. <laughs> Great. She has a boss health bar, so that's how you know her name. You know. Her All name. right. <laughs> All right, it's... Uh, uh, can I get a wisdom saving throw? Uh, on me? The Princess yeah, for, of for Compel Regret? Duel. Yeah. Yar, it's a 19. Oh. No Compel Duel for you. Oh. Okay, that might not be a bad thing because we would literally not be able to attack. <laughs> yeah, All but right. the other one's gonna come in uh, right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, facts. Correct. Okay, right. Flying in and immediately. Oh god. Immediately going. Oh wait, hold up! I gotta move a little bit closer. I gotta move more of my flying speed and land I right here. Right, On my much, turn, I choose much, death. How much I got? <laughs> uh, don't worry. This will kill you in one hit. Uh, mm -hmm. DC Dex saving throw. Mm, uh, I'm not good at those. It's a good thing you cast Warding Bond. That's the next to Kayaris that gives you the thing, right? Plus mm -hmm, four. Mm hmm, mm hmm. The good news is this is actually on. pretty easy to succeed, but you're still going to take damage. Probably. 11. 11 with a plus four? Yeah, I told you, I'm not good at those. I got a six. Well, he's, he's not good at those, guy. All right, Caliari. Oh, I need to... What, what, uh, oh, you're, uh, in the, you're in the line, so it's it's going down. Uh, That is a 22. Okay, you will take half damage. Buckle Yay. up, buttercup. All right, Malachi, you take 24 damage. The other 24 goes to Caliari through Warding Bond. Kaliari additionally takes 24 because she takes her half. Half of your full, half of her half. What 40, kind of damage is it? Uh, this should be acid damage instead of poison damage, I think. Acid damage. Mm -hmm. 48 mm -hmm. acid damage to Kaliari, 24 acid damage to Malachi. And now I get to see if it recharges. It does not. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, that is, uh, that is it. We're done. We're done right now. Okay, uh, Blobbletop is up. Alright, um... I... You? Uh, b -b 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 what the hell does this work? Oh. Hmm. Okay. How close am I to Malachi? I'm like 10 feet, if that. You so will provoke opportunity town. attack if you move away from the dragon. Oh, that's icky. It is icky. Alright, I will... I have so many spells. Actually, this is actually awful. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna get worse. 
Yeah, hey. cool, thanks. <laughs> All right, I will third level healing word Malachi. Sir, you get 18 hit points back. Thank you, sir. And then... Bub, 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 yub. I'm just going to Sacred Flame, Princess of Regret. Princess of Regret. Dex, Dex 17. Failure. Uh, it's nine. Uh, what damage? First blood on the dragons should be radiant. Or radiant fire. shouldn't should matter to me. Yeah, radiant. All right, <laughs> nine, right? Yeah. Oh, my brain can't math because it's after nine thirty. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's just this then minus two. Okay, I did it. I did math. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. All right, is that all? I'm also gonna yell. Uh, Malachi, come here. And that's it. Okay. All right. Um, Arts uh, is going to bull rush the Princess of Regret and precision attack it using one superiority die. Yeah, that's super obnoxious, but I think that's just going to land just barely. No, is it freaking one short? Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Fine, I will just normal attack it. Okay, so the precision attack doesn't go through, but the normal attack goes through. Yeah, got it, whatever. I just rolled the wrong thing, but I uh, rolled max damage, so you know what? I don't care. Uh, eight damage to the Princess of Regret. Shaboom, but I lost superiority die, and that freaking sucks. Okay, uh, that's all. Malachi. Okay, so I'm going to move between Cagliari and Bobbletop, so I'm close enough to still get the uh, saves, but... Yep. How, like... How, how close do you want me to come to you? So I can touch you. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Five cool, feet, I'll stay yeah. here then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... And then... Gosh, you know what? It's fine. We go Nova. Oh, wait, what, um, a, what a gradual roll for initiative. A six. six. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I said, um, oh, he got a six, and then he said, <laughs> you weren't supposed to say that part out loud. You thought we were talking about you. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, so I'm going to transform into my uh, winged form, to my radiant form. Um, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to, but yeah, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Hex. We'll put a Hex on the Princess of Sorrow. Um, Sorrow. Hexed with what? Um, and so disadvantage on, I'm going to say strength checks. Hex on strength checks. Okay. Yeah. Is that all? That's pretty much all I can do now. Okay. Grab with, without moving from where I am. Oh yeah, get ready for this. I'm ready. All right, I need I need to get within sixty feet of the Princess of Regret. <laughs> you are thirty-one feet away. Cool. Ready yourself. I'm ready. I'm gonna do it. You should reset your character sheet. You have 10 hit points unless you oh, yeah. it already. Oh yeah. Whoa! It worked. Oh my goodness, he did it. And sneak attack? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow. Are you sneak attacking? Oh, oh yeah, I guess I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Does the boomerang come back to you when it lands? A mm hit? -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it does. Alright, that's crazy. I thought it only came back when you missed. Huh. Wait. Oh, that second that number's way sense. higher than the first one. Well, that's how it works in real life, but yeah, I don't know how it works in D&D. So 22 total damage? Uh, yeah, I oh. guess so. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't return if uh, it hits. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, oh, I can only do that exactly once. exactly how a boomerang works oh. in real life. Okay. I'm pretty much useless yeah. now. I probably had that mixed up for sure. Alright. Princess of Regret. It's already not looking great. Uh, not bloody. Mostly the boomerang. Mo actually, mostly the boomerang. Straight to the face. Pissed off. Beyond, beyond all belief. Is that Grudger's turn? I think I vaporized. <laughs> Is that, is a, that, that the end of my turn? Is, yeah, is, is it? it? You're asking me, one action guy, if he has <laughs> well, more you, than you one have, action? You have movement, so you want to move. Yeah, I started getting jiggy with it in the center field. And you're not, okay, but you're not moving. Uh, no. Okay. I am. Okay, <laughs> so the one question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there a way you could put, like, a little symbol on the Princess of Sorrow so I remember she's hexed? I can. I have it recorded on my document. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you need it. I just have it written hex that, STR. That activates opportunity of attack, right? No. no. She didn't move away from five feet from anybody. She just bull rushed oh. through them, and now I'm going to kill you. Oh, no. I rolled very poorly. Through, through us or over us? Basically, she went through. So, I mean... You might like, actually want to make like, a deck save to not get uh, trampled. Oh, the, like, look, look what you did away. now! Yeah, look, I wasn't going to say anything, but go ahead and make a deck save, Blobble Top and Parts, and Malachi, I don't get trampled. I got 15. Does a, yeah, 14, I'm, I'm hit, does a 14 hit, Roger? I do no. know. Is that a lie? It, no. It's not a lie. Wow. That freaking sucks. I'm only one of those. Hey, what's, the, what's the deck save that I have to beat? Why would I tell you that? So he can know if he beat it? Well, he's gonna find out in <laughs> <and> two <laughs> seconds anyway. <laughs> Probably like 15. Okay. You know, like... <laughs> 9 plus 4. 13 slashing damage. Uh, you avoid a bite and a claw, but a second claw nicks you for... Uh, yeah, 13. Hey, that's his name. It is his name. 13 slashing damage to Grodger. All right, did anyone uh, not get a 15 or higher on the deck save? I got 15. Okay, uh, parts, thanks, parts thanks failed. Thanks to Cagliari, I got 18. Oh, parts got... Wait, uh, I activate uncanny dodge. Parts got trampled. Uh, okay, so you turn the 13 into 6? 7? 6, 7. 8. 6. The rogue is rogue. 6. 67. 67. Oh, something went wrong. <laughs> Right. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see if this works. Nope, that's lame. All right. All right. Well, I it's time to go in. So, um, Il Blubbleta. Wait, why are they no. going back to back? Why are they going back to back? That's true. Who's in the middle? Caliari? Yeah. Yay! Mm. They're cheating. <laughs> um. I forgot that she doesn't suck at initiative rolls. Yeah, hey. I know, right? <laughs> uh. I'm gonna yeah okay move like to the just to the right a little bit just to get up right up next to the princess of regret yeah there you go mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna use thunderous smite uh so I gotta do an attack roll I mean yeah I can't roll above a ten unless it's uh, throwing a boomerang I got a twenty four on the attack roll I think that's gonna hit let's go okay so there's there's my piercing damage there's my sneak attack damage. Uh, and then here's the thunderous smite damage. Oh, two ones. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, can Still I 21 get, damage? Can I get a strength saving throw? Uh, yes. I unfortunately am not hexed on those as the other one is. True. Uh, no, but six, strength checks, so you're six, fine. Okay, 16 plus something. Oh, darn it. 16. Yeah, not 20. Okay. Well, dirty. Well. Game, my bad. Uh, yeah, that that was thunder audible within three hundred feet. So that was very okay. loud. All right, that's a lot. Uh, so twenty-one total damage. Uh, yeah, I didn't even count it. Okay. Yeah, twenty-one, twenty-one. All right, Princess of 21. Regret is already bloodied. Princess of Sorrow is going in and is going to slash at Malachi. Wait a minute, I already did these rolls. It was nine. Uh, I thought it was against me. Them. I could. Uh, I mean, if it was against. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, then let me just roll this, because only one of those hits. Uh, 8 plus 4. Uh, 12 slashing damage. Uh, shield. I'm not- I'm attacking Blob Oh, it is me. Oh, you I said Malachi. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I forgot who I was attacking last round. Because I had already done the rolls and did the math, and I was like, wait a minute, yeah. Because I, I don't remember the numbers, I just remembered that only the claw hit, so I cannot just change targets. <coughs> How much was it? Twelve. Slashing. Wow. Ow. Okay, uh, and you're actually up. All right, I'm going to since Bob, I mean since Malachi moved up, I'm gonna touch him and cast Death Ward on him. Ooh. I vibrate with energy. <laughs> okay, don't do that. I'm writing, I'm writing that down. I'm writing that that's down. not part of the spell. He's just doing that's, that. That's important. That's important. Writing, write, writing it. Uh, Got the it. first time you would drop to zero hit points as a result of taking damage, you instead drop to one, and the spell ends. If uh, you get hit by something that would kill you without dealing damage, that is negated against the target against you and the spell ends, so it doesn't happen. Hey! And then I'm Go. going to third level healing word myself. <laughs> Where uh yeah, where's healing word? There it is. I heal myself for nineteen. Alright. Uh Malachi. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And so, I tell, I tell Maka, you're, you're free to move now. Sweet, thank you. Um, I'm gonna do, as a bonus attack, uh, Booming Blade. Okay. So, da -da 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 -da. I'll do that first. While you're doing that, part stabs Princess of Regret. Uh, five damage minimum. Ooh, minimum yes, roll. thirty-one. Extremely annoying. <laughs> Got a thirty-one to hit on. Uh, I think I'm gonna do Princess of Sorrow. Okay. Um. So that's. Uh. Fourteen points of damage from just a slash. And then it's going to be uh, one point of thunder damage. Um, and then it's going to be... We're rolling that yeah. damage. Uh, four points. So that's a total so far of 19 damage. And then I'm going to do my actual action now. Um, and do another, another one of my... Uh, attacks. And I'm gonna just use my uh, Eldritch Staff for this. Uh, maybe I won't. I'm just gonna use my Scimitar of Speed because it likes me. Actually, no, I'm stupid. I'm just gonna use Chill Touch. Screw it. Uh, 24? Wait, so... You, how, how are you doing? You already burned your action. No. Booming Wait, blade. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Not a bonus action. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So here's my bonus action. Uh, twenty-seven to hit. Oh, your scimitar speed. But okay, yeah, that's fine. Yes. All right. Nine. So. Twenty. Twenty-eight points of damage. Nine. I subtract the other. So nine. Okay, got it. Uh, plus nine, because I'm in my radiant form. What do you mean plus nine? I thought you said it's a total. I'm, I just need the scimitar's damage. It's nine plus nine. Yes, it's nine. And then add nine because I'm in radiant form. What the heck? Okay. I gotta oh, give me one of those. Alright, Groucher. And Groucher, don't die. Alright. Alright, alright. I got a plan. I activate my bloodline ability. Okay. It and my boom never mind. Um I'm gonna use insightful fighting. He's gonna use insightful fighting. I'm gonna use my ability. My bloodline ability. Against, so I gotta make Against Princess of Regret? Yeah. I'll make a deception thingy. I got low. <gasps> uh, hold on, I forgot what how to make an insight check. <laughs> Figured it out. I'm kinda nice like that. An yeah, okay. Did you get lower than a fifteen? I did. Alright. 
don't know why I did that. But it was cool. <laughs> How far away am I? From the Princess of Forget? Like three feet. Oh yeah. This is gonna work. <laughs> I believe in you. I was looking at the wrong character sheet. This is not gonna work. I was looking at Bills thinking I was gonna do something. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> One. Okay. Anything else? Poor soul. Did we try talking to them? Maybe, <laughs> maybe they don't want to kill us. That's just like a misunderstanding. All right, uh, you done? <laughs> yeah. All right. Princess of regret. Kill Malachi. Maybe kill they don't want to kill us. Malachi. Maybe they just want to talk. Eight kill two Malachi. Plus seven is twenty-five. <laughs> The next highest is an 18, and the other one doesn't matter. Uh, I'm only going to take one of those. Are you shielding? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shield less and like until your next turn, Wait, isn't it? It is. Or are you saying that you can't shield high enough to get the other one? I gotcha. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Okay, 9 plus 4 is 13. And then acid is weird because that's that's just two so so okay um this is gonna be awkward you take seven damage Caliari takes the other seven yeah seven, huh? math you both take seven damage oh you manage to dodge one claw shield the other but the bite lands okay that's a cool visual. How I can I imagine, do? like, like if this was animated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dodge the one claw, the second one shatters a shield, the and then... Yeah. yeah. You're up. You're up? You're up, Caliari. Oh! Yay! Um... I'll... Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep whittling this one down. Uh, oof, only a 12 to hit. Uh, no. What do you mean? No. <laughs> oh, are you sure? I am certain, actually. Jeez, man. Um. Finally! What? Nothing. Unrelated. Unrelated. Are you sure? Yeah, well, He's just not ready for my next turn when I do my bit, my crazy uh, thing. Then as my bonus action, I'll cast Hunter's Mark on Regret. Okie dokie. Hunter's Mark. Uh, Does that do anything for people other than you? Um, no. no. I don't believe so. Nope. No. Okay. But it could. Princess of Sorrow turn, yes? Sounds right. Yeah. Excellent. Most excellent. Actually, no. What if Sor Sorrow doesn't actually get a turn? I'm moving this way and doing the funny thing again. Could I theoretically? Uh -huh. I sure could. Oh, yeah. oh no! I sure well, could. I'm going down Wait, this turn. Also, okay, so she, you don't think she'd also get Princess of Regret there? Since she's within my five foot space. They're immune to acid damage, bro. I was just, I'm just saying. Level with you, Jacob. I forgot to heal Caliari. I yeah, forgot to like, take damage. <laughs> All right. The emotional Dex, damage. Dex saves everybody. And they gotta clean up the gunk. That's gotta at least be a turn gone. I got a nine. Fail. Uh, seven. Fail. How? <laughs> it was on the eighteen. It was on the eighteen, and then it rolled over to Caliari. two. Caliari. Twenty. All right. <laughs> Okay, Caliari takes 50 damage, Bobbletop takes 50 damage, Malachi takes 25. A line what? of acid oh, drenches all of you. I go that down. Really hurt. <laughs> okay. Alright, that just leaves our greatest warriors up to kill these things. Uh, uh, my turn. Bobbletop's up. Uh, I really um, want to use my action for something else, you know? <laughs> 
All right. Um, if you give me up, I do have lay on hands. Assuming regret doesn't does this drop mean me. Warding bond is down. If the spell ends, if you drop to zero hit points. Yep, warding bond is down. Okay, whose turn is it now? Mine. It's no, mine. it's Blubble Tubs. Okay. Then it's here. I, I'm probably not gonna die. All right. Um. For my turn, at the fifth level, I will cast. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast Mass Cure Wounds. So all of us will be healed. Twenty nine hit points. Oh wow, that's pretty big. What's the radius on that? Is it like twenty or something? Uh, thirty. Oh yeah, that's literally, Up to six that's creatures. literally everybody. Huge. Hearts gets his eight hit points back. Yay. And then I'm going to healing word Malachi. At the Wait, 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 wait. can I say don't? Give it to Galliari. <laughs> I guess she is taking half your damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, at the second level of healing word Galliari. You'll get 11 hit points. Yay! And then I will heal myself with my... What even is that? What is that called? Oh, I heal when I heal. So that was for 7 plus... Okay. This is good. 7 plus 4. Oh! Okay. Oh! Also, um... Which one... Yes. It was the princess. It was a princess of sorrow who I had hit with booming blade, right? Uh, yes. Okay, bet. So she moved. Yeah. Seven points thunder damage. Okay. We're throwing around a lot of thunder damage. This is a very loud. <laughs> loud fight. Um, Bart stabs princess of regret for maximum damage at twelve. Uh, I think yeah, it should be Malachi. Does does okay. he get any stupid bonuses against dragons because he's dragon slayer parts? Not yet, but he should. He should. <laughs> I'm gonna give him okay. a dragon slayer spear. Okay. So um. So to Princess of Sorrow, I'm gonna cast um. I'm gonna cast Ice Knife at first level. Ice Knife. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like Ice Pirates. Yeah, that's that's, that's okay. an Ice Knife. There's a um. There's a <laughs> there's a pain uh, message in my inner thoughts. Steam hit. It does not. Uh, okay. Does um, the side effects still go off? Yeah, that's true. Uh, that so I think uh, yeah, dexterity saving throw. You have Four. to be the 18. Wait, no. Seven. Still not 18. Alright, so 2d6. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm just assuming you're targeting somewhere at the back, so the five foot radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I take five points, but you also take. Um, you also take more than that, sorry. Um, gosh, I have so many things to read. Um, 11 points of damage. You take 6 11. because it's ice. Yeah. All right. Roger. Yeah, it's Ice Pirates is the best Pirates movie, but Ice Pirates oh. are spelled wrong. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Add one more D6. You what? Add one more D6. Okay. From so what? four. Hex. Ah. Yeah. That and the word be. that you're not expecting is the one that's spelled wrong. <laughs> okay. Grudger, go. That's right. It's ice. Next All right. You heal when I healed everyone. Yeah. Yeah. He was in range. Cool. I mean, I'm All right. Asking him if he oh, applied oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, there's only one thing I can do. I need to recover my most powerful weapon, the boomerang, because I can't hit without it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only weapon I have that can hit 
Even though they all have the do same you, bonus. Uh, do, you, do you want me to like give you a dagger? I have a dagger. I rolled. I've I've missed every time I made a dagger attack in the last two sessions. I have a sling. Do you want it? <laughs> I will drop right. you my sling. If I <laughs> is the boomerang outside of five feet from the princess of regret? Yes. Hmm. What if it wasn't? No. <laughs> It's a dream, man. I can do whatever I want. Floodline ability. Boomerang comes back to my hand. Um, you should let him have a boomerang that returns to his hand at the beginning of every turn. I have a plan. Your boomerang. I'm just gonna attack. Oh, okay, it worked. Wait, wait, I tricked wait. out the dice. <laughs> they thought I was gonna use a boomerang, the so they didn't. Actually, does way didn't, more damage. They didn't expect. Well, I wouldn't say way more damage. Oh, it's a D8 versus a D4. It's something. Well, when you roll max damage, okay, it's kind of way more damage. Yeah, you can do a sneak attack. I believe in you. 28. Hey! He's technically out damaging Caliari at the current <coughs> moment. I've been keeping track. I'm a paladin. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, and how much we... damage has he taken? Because I've taken like a <laughs> hundred. We should average. I'm just saying that if we average it out based off of. Yeah, well, we average yeah. it out based off of the last session in this session, it's not looking good. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Landing hits. Alright, uh, Princess of Regret is extremely weak. Uh, is that all? Everybody? Everybody, you're done, Roger? Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, the Princess of Regret, uh, is, is weak, is pissed, uh, and is about to explode. Uh, everybody, make a deck save. I'm so sick of this. Um, <laughs> I got explode. 20. Explode? This is some more war. Oh, thank God. 23. All right. I'm kind of nice at these, actually. Can we make these more often? Okay. I think everybody passed those, man. Yeah, if no one got <laughs> lower than a 14, then yeah. <laughs> All right, so everybody passed? Yeah. Yep. Um, what, what did parts get? Oh, I didn't roll for him. Like a hundred uh, twenty-nine. Yeah, I have plus right. eleven to deck saves. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, as the princess of regret surges with power, uh, she inflicts upon herself twenty-one points of damage, fizzles out, and lets out a massive explosion of acid. And everyone is going to take uh, half of this. Slip it all up. Half of this is 20 points of acid damage. At uh, 19. Ow. <laughs> like it's already halved? Yes. 20 points is halved. Hey, man. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Do you not wait? Do you have the rogue feature that lets you take zero damage when you pass a dexterity check save? Yeah, 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 yeah. evasion, evasion. I don't know if he has that. Or not. I don't he have should. it because I'm not high enough level, but he should totally have it. He should have it, evasion. Brad, should you have it? He makes his gross ass character doesn't even know how to use it. <laughs> Yo, hold up, guys, I have evasion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He has evasion, guys. He's more of like a role-playing character. He <laughs> doesn't... Whoa! Something happened. <laughs> My bloodline right. ability is finally right, so you, didn't, you didn't take any damage. Everybody else got the 20. Yeah, I'm kind of nice like that. Yeah, okay. That's really good because I would almost be dead. So yeah, he is kind of he is nice like that. That's he is that's nice excellent. like that. All right, uh, the princess of regret is weak, is barely holding on, and it's Kelly. I turn. thought you should. Oh, she didn't yeah. blow up and die. No, but she don't got she, much she left. She got big. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Kelly, Ari. Oh, um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put warding bond back up. Okay. Really? Um. Then I'm gonna uh, oh sh lay on hands is a uh, action. I could do that, or I could stab. 
Uh, I'll turn back and nod at you like stab. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, the best healing is DPS. It's true. Fair enough. All right, I'll do it. I'll stab. All right, the princess of the uh, head is bowed before you. How would you I like missed. To, what, what the heck did you get? A ten. <laughs> Roll with advantage. She's okay. literally, like, prone. Uh, seventeen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, the creature has died. How you, will you... I, I missed. <laughs> you <laughs> failed to penetrate the armor. 17 doesn't do it? Oh, it does not. The dragon's Man. scales are too thick. Uh, All right, have you tried faking out your side. dice and making... That is tragic. All right. Uh, Princess of Sorrow. Kill Blapletup. That's a 20 and a 22. Oh, that's not good. Whoops. Both of those hit you? Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. What do we got? you had like in a million. Boom, 11. He nerfed Boom. me. Minimal damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. He did nerf eight. you. 21 points of slashing damage as the claws tear you up. Ah! The armor didn't get nerfed at all. You're just not wearing pants anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we, we keep attacking your legs. of Sauru is done. It's my turn. I have six hit points and it's my turn. It is your turn. <laughs> You know what that means? Uh, Malachi says, "Focus on you, King." <laughs> girl, help! He just, we're all dying. He girl, just leaves. Help me, girl! Help! Focus on you, sucks. King. Why is everything actions? Every single thing I can do is an action. It's a he whole gets back action. in his car. <laughs> help me, girly! Help! Help! <laughs> all I can do is actions. Nothing good is a bonus action. It's been everything actions. I can do is concentration. It's Action. Except for warding bod. Warding bod does not concentration for some reason. Oh, I guess because the whole point is to take damage, so yeah. you'd be rolling concentration yeah, every turn. Be the worst thing ever. That would be the worst. You know, you just have to be really nice at it. I like I want to set something up, but it's it's actions. It's always actions. I can't do anything. Hey, at least you look at your character sheet and you have uh, options. See that? That's why I thought that that second ring that I put in my inner thoughts, the one that lets you cast another spell for free, but doesn't modify the casting time. I think that'd be pretty balanced, honestly. No. You see, I just built in Mind Sanctuary from Baldur's Gate into every one of my campaigns. Uh, what are you doing, Blob Top? I am looking. <laughs> are you taking too long? So Parts is uh, gonna burn another... Uh, little, little, little You're taking so long, this guy's messing with the doohickey. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a crit. That's a crit, Your Honor. Your Honor, Parts just did uh, 11 plus 4 to his car. Parts just did 15 damage. Oh. What is what is Your Honor responding to in this Sorry. instance? I don't know. Do How nice me? the I'm crit on, was. I'm on autopilot. <laughs> I just got two crits in yeah. a row. Yo, court reporter, are you getting this? Make sure I, that's I in did the just thing. Get two, granted, it's because... Uh, <laughs> I'm giving him, here's what I'm giving him. I'm giving him a champion so that he's got uh, 19 and 20 as crits against dragons. So I just <laughs> rolled 19 and a 20. I didn't actually think it would be relevant, but uh, it is. Because now I just did another 13 damage. Yo, so, court reporter, make sure that's in the transcript. I want to read that back. Parts is doing the work. He just did like 20 some damage to the Princess of Sorrow with a spear. A regular I mean, uh, like... spear. Are you it's recording? Blah, 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 Alright, so blah, I'm... All right. For my action, I'm gonna channel divinity, preserve life, on Lame. myself up to half my health. I just uh, that heals me. How much? I heal myself 27 hit points. 27. And the other 18 will go to Aliari. Yay! Yeah, 18. And then. I'm going to a uh, second level healing word myself. <laughs> Hero. Malachi. I get 13. Okay. I'm going to pull out an old ebook goodie. Mm -hmm. um, I start channeling um, flame energy and start making a fireball. But then it shifts color and turns ice. Uh, like ice white. Ice ball. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna cast it on the Princess of Sorrow, but I'm moving it like, so it's yeah, like on her the, far yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Consult the graph. I'm consulting. Is that deck save? 
It is a deck save. It's regretful. I rolled a net I've... 20 on the deck save. Yeah. Yeah. I just rolled two net 20. I just rolled a 19, a 20, and a 20 on this day. Don't worry, though. Get, get a different I die. got this. No, I'm Please? actually kind of liking this one. This one's kind of good. Please. Okay, so you got that 20? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> what? You should you, All right. you should roll four D6s and then minus four. So you take um, should have 14 decks. points. 14 points of ice damage. Uh, cold damage, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Um... Good 14 catch. cold, um, three points of hex, so that's 17. Um, you're gonna take nine points of radiant damage. That's not halved with the save? No, that has nothing to do with the save. Disney. And you're gonna take six points of cold damage because it was ice. Why isn't the cold <laughs> halved? Huh? Do you remember Why does Ice the cold Spider? Damage have? The cold damage is damage I add on to whatever you take. You stupid. The was a total? Uh, a million? Uh, yeah, exactly. No. Um, so it's 17 plus 16, so 33. What the hell? Hell yeah. That's ridiculous. I mean, he is in his super form. How long does your super form last? Ten rounds. Alright, that's a while. How many you got left? Like, six? Uh, I think six, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, uh, parts already went. Groucher. Oh yeah, I got this. Activating my kill move. Hiya! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Hey! Oh, I forgot. I got to roll damage. I thought it just died. You do got to roll damage. Well, it will just die. Hold on, though. I'm kind of nice like that. How would how would you like to kill the Princess of Regret? Well, let him do a sneak attack, too. <laughs> you look dead. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, how would you like to kill the Princess of Regret? Oh, obviously. Just like 600 stabs. <laughs> right? Like, where? <laughs> okay. Okay, you only have six seconds. But, all right. That's not whatever part's closest enough. to him, so like the leg. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what he's stabbing. But uh, the Princess of Regret uh, lets out one last flinch and then falls limp onto the ground. As she should. And dissolves. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for like three turns, so. Dissolves into nothing. <laughs> Oh no, please, you're finally doing good. Keep going. All Keep right. going. For real. For real. For real. Hell yeah. Um, I'm gonna go up between uh blopple top of parts. Yeah. Um, we're actually no knowing that this thing could do a line move. I'm not gonna give it any easy lines. I'm gonna go up around the left side of it. Uh, but can I remain within ten feet of Malachi? What is what is 10 feet here? <laughs> well, there you go. Well. <laughs> I was just like, when did somebody named Boomerang join her party? <laughs> Look at this guy. Um, I will do... I'll try Thunder Smite again. Okay. Um... Ooh, that's gonna hit 26. Oh, that'll hit. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Uh, give me, give me a strength save. Okay. Oh, and this one's, this I'm one's got disadvantage on that. On that. Yeah. Nope. I nope. rolled these strength on checks. <laughs> All right, never mind. I rolled two 11s. It doesn't matter. Uh, Wait, is 11. that 11 total? No, I forgot about my modifiers. 11 plus 4, 15. Oh, it's a 16. All right. I push it 10 feet back and it goes prone. You cannot push things that are large. I'm not pushing, it's a spell. It's Thunder Smite. Okay, okay, now I see. Mm. You can push it anyway, it's large. It's not for a I just had to check. Or excuse me, no. it's not huge. You can't, like, because you can't push things that are two sizes larger uh, than you. And I did 23 damage. 
Only 23. All right, fine. Leave me alone. Um, uh, and since it's prone, while it's prone, melee attacks have advantage. Okay. Worth noting. Is that all? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, my breath weapon didn't recharge. I'm getting up. I don't even nope. have my movement. <laughs> that didn't last. Nope. <laughs> and I'm um, using the other 15 feet to uh, do this. And uh, bite attack. Go. I don't think that's going to land. That is a 9 plus 7 is 16. Does that hit? 16 now. Claw attacks. Go. That's a 1 and a 3. All right, I'm done. Blop up. All right, um, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to use that spell slot. There we go. I'm going to cast Bless on me and Malachi, so the second level, so I can do it okay. with two people. Okay, okay. And then I'm going Ooh. to... Bless. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to first level healing word, Caliari. You will Hell receive yeah. eight hit points. <laughs> I will receive three. Pleasure doing business with you. All right. <laughs> I humbly request that parts be allowed to go before Malachi, as their initiative is the same. Oh, so he can kill the dragon? Mm-hmm. Fine. That's his job. I throw <laughs> a javelin. I land a 22. I deal... Oh, it's like poetry. I deal 10 damage to the dragon with 10 hit points remaining. That wasn't orchestrated. That's what I wanted to happen, but that was a 1 in 6 chance. I didn't know it was that weak. Oh, it was weak. Straight through the I eye. I did that. Kaboom. Yeah, combined with uh, Caliari's 23 hit points, the Princess <laughs> of Sorrow rears its head as a javelin is stuck in its eye before its head collapses onto the ground and it lays there dead. Malachi. Wow. Oh, it's... Okay. So it's dead. Um, yep. I'm going to scan the area for anything else. Roll perception. Okay. Dang, why did I say that? I'm not good at that either. Here comes third dragon. Oh, 19. Dark necrotic energy is synergizing towards the Princess of Sorrow. Um, I'm gonna yell out to the others, like, watch out. Okay. Oh? Parts is going to get his javelin. Oh. He's dead. Roger, Malachi? Um, can you tell me about this necrotic energy? It is sweeping towards the Princess of Sorrow and powering her beyond your greatest nightmares. Parts, okay. no! Before it could do that, I want to go over. Over. To the Princess of Sorrow's body. Okay. All right. This is me with some wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. Um. But I am going to use my uh, scimitar of speed to make two hits. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pump my divine smite into it. Okay. And I'm hoping that counteracts the, uh, okay. 16 does not hit. Does not hit. Uh, I have bless. Don't roll a one. Okay. So, dang it. You roll Where a one? Them dice at? Okay. Where them dice at? Two. Hits. Okay, so the first one hits. Second one hits as well. Uh, just gonna roll damage. 14 points of slashing. Okay. Nine points of slashing. Uh, and then I'm gonna unleash my divine smites. Whoa. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm only going to use two. All right. So that is 12, 21, 35, plus 9, 44. All right. You make two incisions 
uh, on the flesh of the dragon and sear it. Dragon steaks. So what? What are you doing? What are you doing to it? I'm trying to like counteract any necrotic energy with radiant energy. Can I um? Can I go gouge its eyes out so if it comes back to life, it'll be blind? Uh, you can try. <laughs> okay. How do I do that? <laughs> uh, sleight of hand. Roll a roll a gouging eye check. Uh, I got eleven. Not gonna budge. Are we still oh, in turn not order? Get the eyes out. Yes. Okay. So Grodger could have done anything if he wanted. Otherwise, Caliario was first. Anyway. I was just watching this, going like, "What the?" Heck I didn't. I didn't know we were in turn order or not. You so are in turn order. It, it worked out anyway. Yes. It was your turn next. All right. Uh, well, that's a fail. That's Caliario's action. Blobble top. Wait, um, you should be on it. Do I also see this thing heading towards it? You do now. Is it... What was once only visible to Malachi is now coursing. It's just like, like, a, like an aura heading towards it. Oh, it is, <laughs> it is visible black and green necrotic energy coming into the Princess of Sorrow from like being sucked out of the air around it. Coursing mm -hmm. from the ground, blowing into her veins. So the dragon's currently dead at this very moment, right? Correct. If a spell doesn't say I, it doesn't mention it, am I able to cast it on something that's dead? Like something that would affect a living thing? I mean, what? Well, yeah. What's the spell you want to cast? Banishment. <laughs> uh, can you banish objects? Creatures. Mm, then no. Corpse is not no. True. Yeah. Um... Uh, One of you should know what's going on right now. Huh? I told one of you exactly what I was going to do. And one of you has the context needed to know exactly what's happening. In a very metagamey sense. It weren't me, were it? Is it me, Jesus? Anything else popped up? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Malachi, Parts. Parts has his javelin. He backs up. If it were me, you have to tell me because I'm very slow. <laughs> it's one of you. Okay, well, cool, 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 cool. Um, Again, it's very metagamey, but one of you should know. Yeah, okay. One of you should have been able to see exactly what I was doing and gone, hey. Okay. Well. Nope. Um. What are you doing, Malachi? Um. Can can one attack the necrotic energy? You can try. Or can I detect a source? Like, what is it? It's just coming from the air. You can attempt to make an investigation or an arcana. Okay, so from where I saw it coming from. The problem is you can't identify a source. It is only clearest when it's entering okay. into the Princess of Sorrow. It's almost like she right, is so, the source. So an arcana check, you say? Sure. Uh, 18. She is about to go an irreversible, unstoppable transformation unless you have a counterspell and roll over a 20. Oh, I can do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, okay, so I should counter this then. You may try. Okay. And over a 20, you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, right, right. Basically, you actually you, you need to roll a nat 20. If you roll, yeah. if you roll a nat 20, you can stop it. Nothing yeah, okay, matter. cool. Yeah, okay. Well, here I go, using my third... My, uh... Third level spell slot. I'm out of spell slots. <laughs> and I'm going to cast counter spell. Now, this is technically a skill check, 
correct? It, it doesn't matter. So, so bless. Bless won't work. Your bonuses don't matter. You need a nat twenty. If if it doesn't have a B on it, it doesn't matter. It's a one in twenty shot. Well, that's not true because I I roll with my spellcasting modifier. It it doesn't matter. What, what I'm I'm telling you, what matters is what's on the head of the die, and if it isn't a nat twenty, this is it's a failure. Cool, 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 cool. Got it. Yeah, love that. Well, it was a seventeen. Nope. Nine on. What All are right. you safe, money uh, man? Bu -bu 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 -bu. Roger. I'm gonna give him a boomerang. That's probably a good idea. Roger goes, picks up his boomerang. I'm gonna start leaving because we're done here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. He can't uh, see it. Caliari, you're up. Um. Okay. Turn off the music. Uh, there's no more combat. It's dead. So you know everything's fine. Yeah, I mean it's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna uh, use twenty five of my thirty lay on hands to heal myself. <laughs> okay. As my action, and then as a bonus action, um, I'm gonna use my class feature empower presence. Okay. Which gives me a plus five on intimidation checks. Okay. And I'm gonna intimidate it and say, "No, you stay dead." It's an object. Yeah. You can't intimidate an object. It can't make a can save. I, can I intimidate the ar the arcane the ar arcane? Oh, it's not a creature. It's energy. The well, okay. Yeah, but like that's physics, and like I can make physics pretty hey, scary. Hey, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do here? Huh? What do you want me to do here? Huh? Huh? What do you want me to do here? It's not. It's not really my problem. I mean, maybe it's going to turn into like an Ikea. And that could be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I mean, I could move, but I, I'll, I'll stand on its head. A hot topic, All right. Bro. The Princess of Sorrow courses with green energy, much like the Princess of Regret did before she explode, exploded, except this time the energy seems much, much greater. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bobbled up. Huh? You're up. Oh. Um. You have to start eating uh, the Princess of Sorrow so when it explodes, it explodes inside you and you save us all. <laughs> Hold up, that's uh, kind of try like, to spell magicking it? Can I do anything? <laughs> you can try. It's worth a try. Uh. I'm assuming. This wouldn't be a third level or lower on the target. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's my spellcasting abilities? Uh, was, uh, how do I? How does this work? Roll a nat twenty. How it works. <laughs> it's actually it's pretty easy. You just roll the die. Thing. It's really, it's really it's simple. Roll the nat same twenty. Words. <laughs> I tell you, I got close. Wow, he did get close, but close is close. no cigar. Anything else? Uh, out of desperation, I'll chuck a sacred flame at it. <laughs> okay. Can I even target things? No, that it's an need object. To <laughs> so I can't. I, just, I, would just, I, would, I would just like to reiterate some important information. The Princess of Sorrow is coursing with green energy that is the same energy that the Princess of Regret coursed yes, with. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I realize. Okay. Um, Bobbletop, anything um, else you would like to do? Run! <laughs> is, there, is, there, is there anything else? <laughs> you have to get out of here. Maybe... Maybe you guys. I'm gonna use the explosion to propel myself into space. Be <laughs> well, space actually, Mars. actually, um, I'm just gonna move my full sixty feet this uh, way. Level up. How heavy are you? <laughs> a a lot. Oh, 
Okay. The weight of a man plus like 86 pounds. You cannot pounds communicate plus... this. You have six seconds. We're in turn order. <laughs> Go. What are you doing? Blah, okay. blah, blah, Now. Blah, blah, running. Okay. <laughs> My gosh. Malachi, what are you doing? Um, I'm missy stepping. Okay. <laughs> and then. And then um, running. And then, no, well, I'm flying, yeah. Yeah. What's your flying speed? Same as my walking. Okay, that doesn't answer the question. Thirty. Okay, thank you. So I'm guessing you're sprinting, so you're going a full ninety. Or you oh, with my action, the yeah. Okay. With my action, yeah. Groucher. I'm I'm walking. I don't understand why everyone's running. No, I did yell out to run though. I did yell out to run, Groucher. I did. Weird. I was like, no. Kind of weird. He's only walking thirty feet. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> gonna move my full 35 feet okay. and then dash for another 35 feet and then mm-hmm. bonus action dash for another 35 feet okay i got it so let me, let me right. go. where's down, the fire put you down for another 70 all yeah. right ladies and gentlemen i think we should be all right can yeah. I can I get down, Mr. President Malachi? Or I guess he's flying. Never mind. You can you can get down, Mr. <laughs> President Malachi. Oh well, that's kind of well. Okay. Oh no, FS, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> he's like a hundred feet up. All right, Damn, it's crazy how you, could, Roger. you could easily have made it out of this, except you, you purposefully like, sabotaged yourself. Would you like yourself. to run? <laughs> Just a little bit. A brisk what walk. Is, where's the fire? A brisk jog, if you will. You know what? Maybe he'll succeed, and then he'll evasion, and he won't take any damage. Yeah, maybe he's nice like that. Make, make a deck oh save. Like Just move. Roger, make a deck save. <laughs> I like to I believe that he is. Save. I got a 22. Okay. Are you okay, using evasion. Are you using evasion? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll just put you here, then. The extra step of moving you 10 effing feet. Okay. <laughs> the Princess of Sorrow blows up in a blast of green necrotic and acidic energy and courses that energy out 60 feet in a massive radius transforming into the bigger badder princess of wrath oh and that is where we're going to end our session tonight oh, that's also where malachi ends his life he's done all right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for joining us. If Malika gives up in the dream, does that mean he just dies in real life? We are 10 minutes overdue. We will find out the fate of Malachi the next time on. Who Dragon was supposed Ball to know Z. what's going on? I will explain that after I stop the recording, which I will do oh. now. <laughs>